What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It has been a minute, but it oh. is finally time. We are back under the radar, season oh. two. It is your boy, oh. Jay Diesel, and I haven't said it in a minute, and I'm excited to now. But at, with me, as always, my partner in crime, Grandmaster Floki himself. I how you doing today, my man? Talk to me. Talk to the people. Oh, What's good? Fucking long. It's so great to be back. Um, really quick, before we get into anything, thank you guys so much for being patient. We we kind of took a little bit of a break over the holidays, stuff like that. Also, things were kind of slow. Ever since Bully was kind of released and things of that nature, there wasn't really much going on um, until like the World Tour like finals got announced. So we kind of took a brief hiatus, but we're back. Yes. Finally. Uh, Jay's been holding it down over at Xanadu. He's been working real hard. Yeah, we got new things in the works over there. A lot of stuff has happened in our little hiatus from UTR. Oh, my God. Like, you, you want to wanna, like, touch on that real quick? I mean, we're, we're going to have to. So this is, this is officially the return. So yeah. real quick, guys, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about Xanadu. Xanadu Games. Yep. So for those of you that don't know, which, you know, entirely possible, new season, new players, uh, my name is Jay Diesel, and I am the Dragon Ball coordinator for the DMV, and I am also the head TO for Dragon Ball Z specifically, or the head the TO for Dragon Ball at Xanadu Games. And recently, in the last couple of weeks, I have moved to also streaming the game as well for our locals. So Thursday nights on this exact same stream, you can find me streaming the Dragon Ball Locals and catch a little bit of all the colorful characters in our region and also myself on the mic. So this is a new change, but it has been a wonderful one. Definitely some growing pains with the uh, mobile streaming. That, would, that took me a little bit, but I've had some phenomenal people in my corner, the Purple Sharpie included, who have helped walk me through the process and allowed my local to look pretty damn good but while xanadu games might be impressive and don't get me wrong it is i think one of the other things that we might need to talk about is is that did i hear through the grapevine that there was a sponsorship afoot i i think i might have heard something to that effect but i don't think i'm qualified to speak on that so floki i'm gonna kick that one over to you Talk to the people about what's good. So it has been recently announced. I think they announced me on New Year's Day or like whatever. I I'm mean, not, what a way to ring a, in the new year. Um, but I am officially um, one of the players for Revenant Esports um, for Dragon Ball. Uh, their team is very small. Um, along with me, TK Break, one more player that hasn't been announced yet. Uh, it's super exciting. You know, this is kind of one of those things that, you know, you get your first sponsorship and you like, it's like, it's like getting a first job, right? You, you take it and then you, you use it as like a learning experience. And this one, I know I'm going to take the ball and run with it. I'm going to rep blue and black um, to the hardest, man. Like, you know, what's crazy. I called my dad, like my dad finally, like we haven't talked. He called me the other day. Cause he found, cause I told, like I left the message. He said you've been waiting for this so long, bro. It's it's weird to see uh, my name next to a bunch of font, like little sponsor things, and then like a piccolo on the side. Um, but that's been um, so. I'm gonna get back into the swing of things with that. So you guys see me out over in Balance Patch. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna link up with some CT players. You guys know who you are. I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. Also, been playing Fighter a bit. Uh, Yo, what's good, Azul? She talks the, to us. The Kali's Piccolo, so it's pretty sweet. But no, yeah, um, I'm really excited for what the new year has to come for me. I haven't made any announcements yet on what, what majors I'm going to. The only one that looks kind of likely is Bums. Oh, you're going to go to Bums Birthday Bash again? Yeah, I might have to get my well, run back. With the there, is a, there is a definite non-zero chance that I will actually be there as well. 
So I think right now 2020 is looking really strong for both myself and for Jay Diesel. There is no word yet on some summit news, so I'm going to be starting that process very soon. In a couple months, I want to get acclimated with my new job, things of that nature. Uh, but no, yeah, it's good to be back. Part of Revenant now. Gonna hell zone the shit out of people, and call C- and call change the future and press jab. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm so, I mean, right. you've definitely, both of us have had some big news develop. And actually, I will say, you might not be the only person making a summit announcement in the near ish future. So, what are you all I can say. What? All I can say is stay posted. The day of reckoning is upon us. And I may not have had 40 pizzas in the last 30 days, but stay tuned. That's so cool. I am, I'm incredibly excited. I have some things in the woodwork right now that if they pan out, uh, also coming up soon is likely to be PRZ season two. And if you thought season one was good, this one is shaping up to be even better. I'm currently hammering out the last little details, but there is very likely to be an out-of-state component this time around. That would be sick. Now, I'm not saying that I might be doing PRs for other regions. But I also might be. So, And I might be pulling players from other regions for my own PR tournament. That would be sick. So, so, so you know... Just just a couple of things, a couple of things that are brewing in the background right here. So I'm really excited about that. You know, now that we are able to stream more regularly, Dragon Ball at my local, I'm able to cover that up. PRZ Season 2 is in the works. Yeah, you got a lot going on, man. It's it's, it's looking busy, and obviously I can't let this podcast fall by the wayside. No, and no, 100%. I think with all of this new talk, which actually, for those who have no idea what UTR is, it came at a time. Do we do we hit him with the? Have we ever ever hit him with the actual lore story? I mean, hit him with the lore. Hit him with it. Okay, so I hit up Jay Diesel at NEC twenty eighteen because he talked about making a podcast essentially. Yep. So word, this would be a good idea. So we start hammering out details, and then we watch the world finals all day. <laughs> do you remember that day? I I do remember that day. Oh, uh, we were we were on the phone for like twelve hours. It was a long day. It was a long day, but you know what? We we made it happen here. I mean, and part of it is, you know, as we go into the new year, like, you know, for most people this is for this is us just kind of touching base with you guys for the most part. And that's really what we wanted to do because we realized that there I've had a lot of inquiries uh as to where we've been. And yeah. I, I want to go ahead and be like, hey, we're back, we're guys. Still, Things still are happening. UTR is not going anywhere. I want to assuage any of those those rumors that have that have that have come out or been talked about. We're not going anywhere. Me and Floki are going to be doing UTR going into the new year. We've just had a lot of other projects that have just kind of been in the way, and the holidays have been crazy. I wasn't even here for them. I was out in Long Beach, California enjoying enjoying some delicious delicious food and my incredibly sunny weather while my compatriots back here all enjoyed the very cold and ungraceful weather but that's okay well that's okay it's fine. It's fine. No, no but i haven't heard about like there's a couple of people that reached out to me personally um from new england because they because a lot of people were avid watchers uh listeners as well um and then i haven't heard about the crazy rumors at all I, i'm not there it was not it was not widespread but i i heard a little bit of misinformation so for those of you that are listening to the podcast now there yeah. is that's it i'm addressing it here and now there is we are going absolutely nowhere yeah the hell like i i didn't hear anything so i'm surprised but it's all good now but yeah let's talk real quick what the plan is so we're, it's Once, time. It's time, and I got. I got to change the. I got to change the title that, for this. It is time for our roadmap, twenty twenty. So let's talk about it a little bit. All right. So, we have 
obviously we did put out a message about who you guys liked um, as previous guests. We've had a couple talks, me and Jay personally, um, figuring out like what guests we might want to re- bring back. We did Cali Max at the end of the year, and that was one of the things that um, we do want to bring back your favorite guests. So if you yes. have a favorite guest from season one, let us know in the YouTube comments on Twitter. Our Twitters are here over on Twitch. Like, please let us know. Also, we bring on all new guests for you guys this time around. And what's one of the beautiful things about this game is the landscape has very much changed. We have a lot of new names here in season two who really weren't here in season one. And part of what I want to do is get a lot more of those type of players out here on the podcast, talking their stuff. Exactly. And... Um I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a good look. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Another thing too, um, since Jay Diesel is very big on the PRZ and the monthly kind of stuff um, for his region, we are still gonna be featuring all of his monthly winners if as best as possible, um, if everything works out, as well as the PRZ um, exclusives. So be sure you guys tune in for that. Absolutely. I think I think one of the people who has definitely been pining for a for a spot. For a spot is definitely been kite i gotta get i got i you know i gotta give the ct fella some love man we got me and him got also also <laughs> despite despite the trash talk to my region i one player who i wouldn't mind having on is actually pumper jam out out of out of boston i <laughs> i i know you but, don't really want that <laughs> No, well, oh, listen, 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 part of, part of, part of the thing is I, he is a Majin Buu player and those are a, those are a rare, rare breed of player, right? Don't, we just don't have Majin Buu players anymore. Like we have Aliun and we have Pump. I can't, I honestly can't think offhand of any other notable Majin Buu players. I'm sure somebody's going to at me and be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I, I'm sure. I'm it sure. Also, Kite, I like the childish emote. That's that's how I feel sometimes. That's how I feel. You know, it's okay. But, um, but no, no, yeah. I think we have a lot of different plans. Also, one thing we want to bring back um, is potential match analysis. That was really fun when we did that for Sonic. I agree. Actually, um, one thing that I have been thinking about is actually having Brad Muse back on. I would love. To. I Brad. I think a a tricast of you myself and Brad Muse doing a bit of match analysis. I think that's actually a really strong combination. I would love to do that again. But there's a I'll, lot. Oh, go ahead, Floki. Take it away. No, there's a lot of people that like I've always like we've wondered to like bring back. We also want to bring back the quadcast in some way. Um, we're gonna have faulty thing it's someone else i think that's how we're gonna do that listen the thing is there is some people that owe me and jay diesel their time <laughs> and i know who you are <laughs> i know who you are i wasn't looking at my camera now i'm looking at my camera oh there you go there you go now you're letting him know i know exactly who you are <laughs> you you think i don't remember oh no he he remembers he very much remembers. Listen, man. If I have to remember six different mix-ups from GT Goku off Spirit Bomb Oki, you can remember. Oh, Give my me God. Half of your time. But no, yeah, there's a couple people. Oh, Faulty um, and Alucard. I would love to have Alucard back on. Oh, Alucard would be Al- Alucard think- would be a lot of fun. There's definitely people from, uh, from HOC. Have Noah and ASAP on to squash the beef. <laughs> That's no, no. Who said that? <laughs> who said that? Righteous, righteous. You always, you always give me some beautiful <laughs> suggestions. Nah, uh, nah. That is a whole other situation. Uh, I mean, look. As as much as I'm down for Jerry Springer, like I mean, that, that's if there's any channel you should tune in for that kind of stuff and that kind of content it is twitch.tv slash seven underscore I, I wouldn't mind having, I mean, we could have like, oh, man, another one would be classic, would be Giga and Sage. We could have, we could have them back on and like talk about like, you know, how they've grown, like grown as people and stuff. I think it'd be kind of fun. I think Sage, I think Sage Giga, I think that would be like a, They'd, like that would be like Actually, a, I, I gotta say, Sage, Sage was a big man 
It was it was a big man at the uh, the last Saturday monthly. Sage came down. They actually played in bracket, and uh, Sage won. And instead of uh, you know driving it home, he actually offered the hand. Get it, tug it. So big. I think that beef has uh, has officially been squashed. It's been put out to pasture. So I think Giga Sage, it's done. They 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 both have kind of moved on at this point. So I I got to give it to that. Uh, but yeah, if there's any again, if there's any guests um, in terms of just, uh, suggestions, um, guests we had in the past, if you guys have no idea what we're talking about, go back and watch the vods. They're all on YouTube. So at this point, we've had we've had over thirty guests on this podcast, yes. and we've had Alucard, Lord Knight, Wrath, Roman Nova. Like if somebody, people in the DBFZ world. They had we've had a smattering of them we've had on we've this had, podcast. We've had we've had like one thing too is that we've had a lot of people from different states and talked about their scenes and that that's like one thing that I'm really, really grateful for. Because you get like an insider to that. Um So yeah. Um since we're on the topic of past guests um, any favorite moments from season one? Oh, I would pray. I like that righteous. Pred. See, I, I want, you know what? I'm making a note. Legendary Pred. If you guys, if you're watching this, if not, I'll hit you up. I, I want you on. I want Pred. you on this podcast, Pred. 100%. Pred, if you're still mad about, I don't know. If, he doesn't really care about Final Round. But that, like, there was a moment at Final Round last year. I don't know. But I haven't talked to Pred in a long time. Ooh, Posse in June. June 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 is the homie. Nitro Bros? Nitro yo, you got if you put Nitro Bros on, you gotta put Posey or somebody else on. Yeah. Wow. We had an absolutely insane lineup this last year. Like, okay, so just to go over our guest from last year, if you guys haven't been there, here's the whole list. Wrath, Sage. Yinja, Hypnotic, No Kami, Big Bag Mill, Double L, ASAP Ricky, Pivot Ace, Doza, Rogue Yoshi, LK, Childish, Romanova, Alucard, Globo, Lowry, Jato, Ajax Fidelity, Sweet JP, Calimac, Axice, Giga Atachi, Brad Muse, Seven, Mozo, Khalil, Youngfish, Cali- oh, oh, Sharpie, Seven, and that's the list. That's a lot. That's a lot of bodies. We had a fat, fat <laughs> guest list this past year, and I'm looking for this year to be just as good. And there's definitely some highlights on there who I would absolutely love to get a second look at. <laughs> Uh, one, another one who jumps out at me. So I, I want Pred this year, a hundred percent. We're getting Pred. I want LK back on L. L- okay. So I'm, LK, I'm not LK no came more. out to the last monthly and we were, we went to friendlies together or no, no, no. It was Friday. So it was Fridays. Friday. And we were sitting there talking at Friday. And before we went though, at the venue, he was revealing some deep tech stuff. He, he was revealing some stuff that I'm like, I didn't even know. That, I Like, I legitimately had no even remote clue it existed in the game. And he's like, oh, this right. is this is stuff that people can't know. They can't know it because it'll break the game. And I'm like, my God. Like, that man has known so much. It is absolutely insane. I would love to have him back on. Oh, I would I would love to see. There's a couple of people from, like, um, I've been talking to Footwork a lot recently. Okay. Uh, he plays games um, from Detroit, uh, but he knows a lot of people in the Midwest. We do want to hit Cali at some point. I know the time difference is kind of tough. I would like. I would like Cuba. Cuba would be a. I would. Uh, my we, picks. I would like Cuba, Subatomic Sabers. Oh my god. Or Super Noon. Guys, listen. If you guys want these guests on tweet at them tell show them this podcast tell them we would love to have them on show give them the insight on where the game is going how they feel about the world finals you know backstory anything they want to talk about you know that's 
one thing we want to give every player either you're, you're a big name sponsor or you're just like just an up-and-coming player we want to give you guys a platform i think that's one thing that the podcast um when we started we, that was kind of one of our big morals and big like values that we have we still have it today oh obviously i would love to have on my fat toy subatomic all the way i think for the culture i think for the culture for the, for the culture I might have on my fat toy, but he's gotta you gotta you gotta move, make some moves. You gotta make more moves. You've now, made progress, I'm, but you gotta make moves. I'm telling you, if my fat toy and JG the same episode, I feel like I would lose my mind. I would just be like, okay, I'm just gonna I I would have to Q and A. <laughs> There'd just be a straight brother Q. Oh, oh my god. god, that would that would be fun. That'd be fun. That would, you guys, you fun. guys are really feeling subatomic. Subatomic okay. Would, like from brutal democracy. All right. Stylish. All right, guys. If you're if you're feeling subatomic, I might uh, I might I might start putting out some feelers on that side because I think I think sub would be a lot of fun. I would love to talk to him. I feel like there's there's a lot that I feel like he insight wise because also I feel like West Coast doesn't get as big of a voice in the general DBFZ scene, even though they're incredibly strong. Like, West Coast is insane. Like, West Coast... I, I think enough people don't talk about how strong West Coast is. I'll put it that way. I agree wholeheartedly. Like, um, I think I think West Coast is incredibly good. I think Florida is incredibly good. I mean, then you have, like, the already known entities like HOC. But it's like, I I think that... More talk, more talk about West Coast. Because, uh, I mean, they've been putting up World Tour results. This yeah. isn't even just they're powerful in their own region. This is Kuba, Sub, and Super Noon have all put up World Tour results. And Beneath. And Beneath. Oh, like my God. <laughs> Hold on. All right. I changed my mind. I want apology, man. Honestly, if we have – listen. I If I could get Beneath on, apology, that would be hype for me. Listen, as – as a piccolo player, like me and him have like barely had a global interaction, not much, but as a piccolo player and like seeing like how he's taken the character now to where he was before, you kind of playing that double beam style to now you're having like yep. a deep this plus that, you know, I, like there's players like myself, Scrot, we were doing it for a grip, but like the way you're playing it with Team Go on now is very different. Um, I think. There's so many players. We can literally list a bunch of players we would love to have on. It is kind of wild how we only scratch this. I mean, that's um, the thing. It's like with the number of guests we had last year, there is so much depth in this game that we barely, we barely even touched anyone. I mean, also, obviously, even those are like the players who I think are, you know, I, I would like to have on, but also... I mean, if you look at the World Tour standings, God, I would love to have any like Shanks. Like you want to go in if we go if we I feel like if we go international, I feel like that's what we get. Like other, I would uh, Wawa. Wawa is another one I would real because like there's players who are really really good who I, I like I, I respect and I think are incredible. But there's certain players I would just personally I think love to talk to. Shanks right. and Wawa are two of them for me. To kill Sage. Obviously Sonic Fox because that that man has the biggest personality and like he's he's powerful. The man has an aura about him and like I respect the hell out of that. Players, man. They are one of those players that you just respect and you just I think one thing too on the commentary side, I would love to talk to if we're going international again, Tyrant would be really cool. I agree. I'm Tyrant as a commentator. I would love to talk to Tyrant. Even like, listen, guys. If there's if there's players, there's commentators. Like Say Jam would be really. I like mean, that. hell, even TOs. Like that's the thing. Like exactly. on this podcast, we don't talk to people just as hey, this person's a good player. We talk to them and how they're engaged in the world of Dragon Ball, because exactly. the those people, the commentators, the you know TOs, they all come together as part of the scene. It's not just the players who make a game what it is. 
Exactly. It's so that's like the thing. So if there's like any any type of person you want on this podcast, please let us know. We again also we want to bring back the segments. We did. I think high one of my highlights besides the match analysis was definitely doing the combo contest or some kind. Oh, of we're contest. doing we're doing a combo contest again. But uh, this time this time we're gonna make it a lot bigger, and I might be putting a little bit more of a prize on the line this time. Oh. Also, too, one thing we should try to do, and this is an idea that I've thought about, is have someone send the craziest mix-up they can possibly put together and see if that person, if they got hit, if the whole chat got hit. You know. You send your most busted mix? Yeah. That sounds fun. Like a busted mix contest? That would be sick. I'm playing Team Kohan. I only know LOL. I mean, I get hit by that a lot, so. <laughs> but, like, that's the thing. is like, there, there's so much that's open. Obviously, we'll be running another UTR monthly. Uh, odds a- are what we're probably going to be doing is instead of having that every month, because that is a little bit taxing with our own monthlies and other events, we're probably going to turn it into a every other month type tournament. Right, bi-monthly. So we're gonna yeah. do it. We're gonna do bi-monthly tournaments for our UTR combo. Or sorry, our U- See, that's the thing. We've got so many projects at this yeah, point. So much going on. Yeah. So the UTR bi-monthlies. Um, we haven't locked down any dates yet. Um, that's gonna be more info once everything's kind of like um solidified for the rest of the year for the PRZ. Yes. Once that schedule solidified, um, my schedule. You know, once everything's coordinated, we'll let you guys know. Um, in terms of events. One thing we should try to do this year, and one thing I'm gonna to try to jockey for, is UTR live. We, I, I definitely think a UTR live is going to happen at some point this year. Where, where is the UTR monthly? It's a PS4 event. It's a PS4 tournament. Is is similar to Kyle Cam. Rest, rest in peace, Kyle Cam. Kyle Cam Collision. The the Kyle well, Collision is unfortunately no more. I remember stumbling across it like his his tournaments and like I don't know it 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 was it was it's inspi- one of those it's, things yeah it's definitely inspiring so um in terms of events that we're planning on going to right now I think the one that we're both looking at is Bum's birthday bash yeah um we don't I don't know if I'm gonna make Winter Brawl or April Annihilation yet I haven't really looked at it yet um Super TSB is not running Dragon Ball so that's kind of out. So once I get more info, I'll let you guys know. Once JD gets more info, we'll let you guys yep. know. Also, we're going to be doing a World Tour Finals special um, before the event um, with a, probably a guest or two. We'll probably make that podcast. Again, if you have any suggestions of who we should have before that event, please let us know. Did you guys like the predictions? I think this year is the year that I beat G Diesel. You can you can quote oh, this. Oh, are you actually <laughs> are you gonna actually beat me on predictions this year? This if I do anything this year, is I will beat J Diesel. I am I am two and zero oh on predictions. Uh, correction, no, I am two more. two one and zero oh because the last one was a draw because they changed pools literally the last second. Exactly. So. I am determined to get on the board. The All right. All right. We'll see, Floki. We'll see if you can make it happen this go round. But oh, Mike. that was that was really like the heart of what like we wanted to try to get out with today's episode is we kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what you would like to see, what we would like to see. If you guys have any suggestion for content you would like to see that, you know, Please either look. one thing that me and Floki have done play. We play a lot of sets. If you guys would like to hear maybe like a commentated set where me and Floki like go over a first to five between each other or something like that, or, you yeah. know, different, different things like that. If you guys have ideas, just be sure to kick them over to me and Flo and we'll definitely take a look and see if it's something that we want to end up trying to do. I think that's, and then, and we'll also be pretty big about the open lobbies. You know, there's a lot of things that we can do for you guys, because at the end of the day, we just all want. One thing I want to like, kind of like instill in people because the game's kind of slowing down a little bit. You know, just play Dragon Ball. The game is as stupid as it is sometimes. It's still the game we play. On stream, shave my beard. Damn, Christian. Wait, your beard or my beard? Both. 
I have I have not been without a beard Mid- for for like seven years. It would it would that I li- I I know you're not gonna believe me. There's pictures that exist without my beard, and I straight up look like I'm 12. It de-ages me by like a decade. I can't do it. I can't do it. Same. Oh my god. But no, yeah. Um. Again, if you guys have missed any of the vods, we'll probably uh, one thing too. We'll probably go over the patch that would, that happens. Yeah. Um, that's like a yearly tradition we're gonna do. Um. There's a bunch of things that we do, anyways. I think like one the- of the things we're gonna try to shoot for this year is for me and Floki to make it out to at least one major together. I agree. And while we're there, that is where our live episode will be. So yeah, that's we'll pro- that's kind we'll of the cure- plan. Is I definitely I definitely want to have a major an episode shot at a major. I agree. Uh, between me and Floki, and who knows, maybe we'll get a special guest on the fly. And bring and bring them over for an unexpected combo breaker. Now that combo ep- this is it live? No, Bofides. This is this is a pre-recorded message. This is all me and Floki recorded this three weeks ago. We're just putting it up now. <laughs> Have we made a season two tier list? No, we haven't. And you know what? We'll do that before before finals. I I definitely well actually I have a tier list I will probably be putting out in the next week or so which I think is going to generate a lot of conversation on Twitter oh, because no, of geez. what the tier list is going to be based on. Oh no. That's all I'm going to say about it. You'll uh you'll probably run across it on Twitter in a little bit. Jeez. Remember the last time you did this? Yeah, remember the last tier list I made, which apparently shook the foundations of, you know, the game? Never forget Broly 12K. Never forget 12K Broly. Never forget Broly. Oh, you're top eighting Combo Breaker Kite? Yo, let's go. Yo, if if Kite top eights Combo Breaker, I'll wear it. Anna. This I'll year, though, I I will probably try to make it to Combo Breaker. Um, I I'm not sure which tournaments I'm gonna because there's three big tournaments. There's Combo Breaker, there's Evo, and there's CEO. Yeah. My goal is to make. I'm gonna make it to at least one. Same. I'm gonna see if I can make it to two. But the question will be which two, and that'll be time permitting slash life permitting. Agreed. I think my goal right now is to hit Combo Breaker for sure. I don't know if I'm going to hit CEO because, well, granted, CEO is in Orlando. Yeah, so that's part of the reason here. I'm hyped because, funny enough, I actually have a family, a, a vacation with my extended family, which is <laughs> actually right at the start of, co- it ends at the start of, com- of CEO. So if I go on that vacation, I could shade it into CEO because I'd be staying in Orlando anyway. That's broken. That's so broken. That's I might broken. have to go to CEO for the freebie. Or just purely on that, but I'll have to. Do you got have you guys ever played D and D? I have not played D and D. I've I like consume a lot of D and D content. And it's like I just don't have I don't have a GM or a group, which I mean I probably could find if I go to a hobby shop. I mean I played Magic forever, so I know I know a billion <laughs> hobby shops. Yeah, I don't. For me, my roommate used it plays. He is a G, he is a DM. Um, he, my old roommate used to be a, is a DM. Um, I've never had <laughs> Floki. Floki. I well, I know a really good. A really good DM. I could, I could, we could do it on air one shot. UTR, UTR D and D session. Yo, we need to have like three guest them pads. Actually, back. one thing, one thing I would love is, um, I actually, I might start. Okay, so one thing I might do is I've actually been thinking about running an underground, like a um, a side tournament for obscure fighting games. No. Um, and I actually have the perfect fighting game in mind. Power Rangers Battle for the Game? No, no. That's not even me. I'm not, I said obscure. Get it. And I already know what the game would be. 
Oh no. That it would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2002 versus mode. That's godlike. I am a god at that. At Persona 4. <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's dramatic. That's, that's like a little obscure, but I'm talking. I mean, it's barely the game I'm talking about is barely a fighting game. If you visit Orlando, come to Tampa and hang out, I'd be down. Naruto Storm Four. See stuff like see up a store like what are the Naruto fighting games would actually be kind of hype because oh my god, what was oh, I got to look up which one that I played a ton. Oh my god, three was OD. Listen, if we're playing Ultimate Ninja 3, I'm in there. Any of the Storm games are kind of cap. The Storm games are cool to look at, but man, like, fighting Oh, wise, oh, I know which game I'm going to make people play. Clash of Ninja? No, I'm going to make people play Naruto Rise of the Ninja, and it make everyone compete in Tower of Death mode. Stop. By the way, you know, what, you know the two most broken characters in Rise of the Ninja? There's two. It's oh, no. Sakura, and it's Rock Lee. And here's That's why. So Sakura has a level one super that heals 50, or sorry, 33% of her health. And if she gets to use her level two, it's 50, and her level three is 75. That's cap. And she does normal damage. That's cat. The other broken cat, and the thing is, that means if she ever gets a sliding knockdown, she just pops a level one and heals thirty three percent of her health. So she touches you; she's healing for thirty three percent of her health. And every character has standard health in that game. There's no variable health. That's so dumb. And Rock Lee, you know why he's broken? He has why? a level one install. That makes him the fastest character in the game, multiplies his combo damage, and he basically doesn't really need, he doesn't really rely on Chakra, so he can just rush you down over and over without expending resources. That's OD. Storm 4 just had broken stuff. Isn't like Storm 3 the better? Than Hold on, let me, let me pull up the cast for, uh, for Storm 4. Storm 4 is deep. Storm 4 is mad deep. Huh, I'm going to pull up a Storm 4 tier list. This is this is what I need to check. But real quick, do you want to talk about, since we're talking about Bums a lot, um, what's your thoughts on Bums' birthday bash being 2.5k for Dragon Ball? I think it's oh. hella hype. And I think do it's going to be an absolutely hype event. That I heard it's one day, though. So, if 200 people show up... It's got to be a full bracket. You better prepare to play. That's going to be a, that's gonna be like an LC... The, like the LCQ. The LCQ. Man, gonna be, it's going to be like the LCQs where like you're Wait, playing... Wait, explain all... to me... Explain to me why Sound Ninja... Why the Sound Ninja is an S-plus tier. I don't know. I don't know, man. 100. Might Guy is better? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking at this Storm 4 tier list. And I'm seeing... I'm seeing Kaguya, Sound Ninja, and Tamari. Is this accurate? Tamari's in godlike mode. We don't talk about Naruto Storm Revelations? Storm Revelations, I played a shit ton. I played a... I, 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 I don't even have, own the game. I bodied my friend. It was godlike. Godlike. But no, yeah, like, also, the fact that, like, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid has a $1,000 pop bonus. Honestly, I am blown away by how it has picked up the way that it has. She has an unblockable. Hold on. Here you go, chat. I I'm currently downloading a JPEG of a Naruto Storm 4 tier list, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull it up on screen. And chat, I need your help. I'm call I'm calling it a favor because I don't know this game at well oh enough. My God! All right, hold on, hold on, guys. This is why I literally have a setting so that way I can pull up and share an image with the chat. This is so. This we're back. We're back, boys. All right, guys. <laughs>
Poor man. Here you go, guys. I pulled up this Naruto Storm 4 tier list. I need you guys to talk to me. I need you to tell me how accurate this is. All right, chat. Floki, you can follow along if you pull up if you pull up the uh, if you pull up the stream. Honestly, I I trust your judgment. I trust what I, I trust what Kai talks about because I, I, I was gonna say these guys have a lot more. Oh, this also you know this tier list is it's got to be accurate. It was created by uh, Rage Katana, Dim Lord Urza, and Playco Urba. <laughs> Oh, that's so good, dude. That's good. That's so good. <laughs> so good bro. Boys, 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 you gotta I look, one of you one of you link me an accurate storm four tier list in the chat. That's that's your mission. That's that's the current mission for this podcast is to find a uh Madara is, is always busted in every Naruto game. They just like making him broken because he's an OP character and he's got like a billion jutsus they can pull from. It's true. It's very, very true. Yeah. That's actually crazy. Like, man. Oh, God. oh Conqueror? Conqueror's good? Conqueror, that makes sense, though. Puppet boys, let's go. Yo, can I get a Naruto Fighters, though? Okay. No, no, no. The game they got to make is Shonen Fighters. Stop, you're capping. Literally. I mean, if they just took, like, Dragon Ball, One Piece, and they just, and, like, whatever else. Do you hear something? I'm hearing some cap. I'm I'm thinking that would be a pretty yeah. good game. I, listen, I think that would be pretty dope. Listen, they have that, and unfortunately, it's Jump Force. I played Storm. You played Storm competitively online in their ESL leagues? Yo, we are yeah. in the presence of greatness right now, chat. Listen, kite, kite's, kite's a fiend for Storm Games, bro. That's the one thing I've learned about him. Okay, so the three people who made that tier list were actually mad good. Okay, so at least that like makes a makes a bit of sense then. So we're not sitting here like just make we're not just over here cap. There's no there's no cap in tech here. See, chat, like, you thought you were going to get announcements about the podcast, but instead I needed to take a quick detour to discuss the yeah, Storm 4 meta. It was, like, pretty a – it's pretty accurate to me. Also, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me – let me see if I can find a tier list for Naruto uh, Rise of the Ninja tier list. This man's really doing this right By now. the way, it's only for the Xbox 360. Oh my god. You know what? I actually found my old Xbox 366. My first one that I ever owned. There's not even a tier list for this game. That's a travesty. I'll have to make one. I'm going to pioneer the Naruto Rise of the Ninja for Xbox 360 tier list because it doesn't exist. Oh my god. That's some weak sauce. That's some weak sauce? It yo, is weak. Yo, speaking of some like pioneering, I saw a tweet. I want to talk about this real quick. Talk to me. What's up? I think it was from Rufalmonger. Oh, from Roof? What'd he say? You know what he said? He said they're going to make, like, I don't, I don't have the exact tweet, and, like, I can't, I don't know. Wait, is this the Hydra tweet where he said these five yeah, characters came one, to me in a dream? Like, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was talking to Seven, and he was like, bro, but Dell's still going to have to open you up, like, five times. And I was like, bar! I mean, here here's the thing, right? The only character in that bunch that might be good is going to be Ginyu, don't at me. Okay, here's the thing. And there, as one of the last Ginyu players on Earth, there is, <laughs> there is, I, look, man, I feel like I'm living the day after tomorrow. They're all gone. It's just, it's just like me and Double L. And I'm not even a real Ginyu player because I'm bad. So, like. You got, Asian, well, so you got Asian Tom. You're good. You got. All right. One. So, there's like, yeah, that's like three people. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, by by you reminding me of somebody, you increase the number of Ginyu players by 50%. Listen, pickle players are just scarce, bro. The hell? Please don't make Jiren good. I mean, honestly, Jiren could be a lot better if they just changed a couple things about him. I don't think it would really be that hard to make Jiren a good character. 
I think Vidal is just fundamentally not workable. And it's interesting. I did see Childish Vegito's tweet that y'all ain't ready to really talk about Krillin. And, like, if they gave him a good assist, that would be enough. But, like, I think his hitboxes are still too stumpy. I, I, I think that's I think it's still too much of an, a liability, honestly, in this game. I think right now the way the game is going, I feel like it's becoming like why play X character and play Y character. And I've been saying this for like I feel like there's only like even like playing super only, right? Like Which by the way, character's nuts. Character's actually kinda nuts. But Besides, like maybe like five, ten characters, like outside the like the top tiers. Like, if you're not playing like your favorite, you can play your favorite character, but you need to play it, put it back in between. Like, is Lord Knight said this best: put it between like two mercenaries, and you're good. So, like playing like Bardock, Beam, or Double Beam. Diesel, you really only get picked apart by in defense by six M. To be fair. Oof. I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah. I mean, I, I get opened up by 6M assist. You know what? Pump, I was playing Pump earlier. Mans did. Mans did 6M call. He, he called Yamcha first and 6M. It's like, still got hit. What, one of the things that, like, I, like, it exists and, like, I guess it makes sense is, like, yeah. if somebody to uh six abs you and you get hit their plus yeah and like if you hit a button then you're there you're not and like i really feel like that's not explained well enough i know it sounds dumb but like i feel like people should be a little bit more like that should be more common knowledge than it is because a lot of people because if you block it it's zero yes a lot of people think that that applies to if you get hit too and it's not like no, they, you... they are plus they're they're plus even if you you know what i mean it's one of those situations where you have to, like, address it. Make no, 17 yeah. and Blue Vegeta good? I mean, 17, 17 I think, would 17. actually take a decent amount of work to make him good. Like, I think 17's in a good spot, though. I mean, he's not a bad care. Okay, so here's the problem, right? When we're throwing around terms like bad character, I think in this game, it's a little disingenuous to an extent. Because in some games, when you say bad character, you mean a character that is, like, literally unplayable almost. You know what I mean? Even the worst characters in this game are still, work. are still workable. They have things that they're that are, like, useful or good. I mean, hell, even a lot of people will widely agree that Krillin's the worst character in the game, right? Even yeah. if, you, if you were to say, hey, you think Krillin's level 3 is good. Most people are going to say yes. If you say, hey, do you think Solar Flare is a good tool? They're going to say yes. Now, they're going to pick him apart for his normals. And his resist. Right, but he does still have things that are workable. Where there are some characters in other games where they just don't do anything. Videl is theoretically a good mix-up character. Also, I I actually would agree with that. I think Krillin could be better than Videl. I think Krillin and Videl are the same same plane right now. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, I'll be honest. Am I more scared of getting hit opened up by a Krillin or Verdell? And the answer is Krillin. I think right now, yeah. I don't know. It's just like, like there's like there's like what maybe one Videl player left, and his name is Zero May Cry. Yeah, she opens you up. You take two K damage. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like without extreme meter commitment, Videl it's... doesn't do a lot of damage. And also, the second you realize that Moonlight Assault can just be 2H'd, well, her mix is gone. Like, she doesn't Agreed. do anything. Now, great, yeah. some OD Videl would come out of the work and wash me. I'm not going to save, like, oh, man. But as a whole, that character does not have a tool. Blue Vegeta is also is actually bad. Uh, he's not horrible. I think he needs to be able to do more with his Rekka, though. I think that would help. What do you think? What do you think of Floki? I, I think right now, I think Blue Vegeta... I think he's one of those characters that is underexplored still. Really? Like, you think he's still at the underexplored stage? Yeah. Like, like what? You have Pivot Ace and Tack? Playing him, that's it? Yeah. There's like, like some characters that kind of fall in this category of like, 
either you explored everything and then you've concluded they're bad, or you're just saying they're bad because not everything has been pulled out. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. I feel like Blue Jita is in the middle. For me, he's in the middle because I've played Blue Jita. Not, I, I play a little bit with this patch, but um, I think he's in an okay spot. Do I think he still needs a lot of improvement? Absolutely. Um, there's a lot of characters like that. You know, I think Gogeta deserves better brain data. I, I love Gogeta as a character, and I'm still playing him. And he's got some really fun stuff. Like one of the things that I'm enjoying the most is doing jumping, uh, doing an IED, doing JM, and then actually just physically walking backwards slightly, then throwing out a hitbox. Like it's, he's got it's, some really fun stuff. The, his command grab's hilarious, and like he creates some interesting situations. He's got a DP that catches both sides. Again, a character who has tools. Yeah, but like, God in clash situations, you cry. It's like, what do what do I do? You DP. Like and the thing is, is that the way his be- his key blast, he, is very, his like, command man is too damn committal. I know you can vanish okay. out of it, but it is slow. The recovery is awful. I agree. I if agree. you whiff, if you whiff that Kamehameha, you did. You have two choices. You either fall to the ground or you vanish and you die. Yeah. And if they're close to you and you have to guess on that, you're dead. Yeah, Blue Vegeta, I think he's too honest. Gogeta, I think his frame data is just not... Yeah. I, I Look, I'm not saying Gogeta's a bad character. I like the character. Yeah, I think sick. Gogeta, at the highest level, He's not quite where you, who he needs to be. That's that's kind of how I feel about him as a character. How are you feeling right now about Super Broly? <sighs> Super Broly? I think he has an interesting assist. His neutral is... He's a better 16 is kind of how I feel about him. I didn't think about it that. That's smart. But that's how he feels to me. He feels like he's doing the things I want to do with 16. Just better. Now, is he as good as pre-nerf 16? I think the answer is no. But I think he's better than current 16. I think he's some... I My evaluation of him, and, and maybe this is dumb, is somewhere between pre-nerf 16 and current 16. No, I could see that. I think he has really good tools really good like assist with seismo um he also has like really unique things the fact that he can snipe a vanish with command grab yes i i definitely am a fan of that also his stomp is hilarious yo, yo can we also talk about his key blast though some we made a joke and this is stuck in my mind he throws cabbages at you the man, you the, watched that. The cabbage, the cabbage maker. Yes, I've watched Avatar. Yo, every time he throws key blast, I'm like, my man's throwing cabbages. His my man ca- with the cabbage. cabbages. <laughs> every time I see a cop, I just see a cabbage. And I'm like, what is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, but yeah, I think, and plus his mechanic of having a buff super and then i love the way broly players use his reversal super um also can create a snap mix up yes Uh, you have that character is a point character through and through now i got a question yoda who do you think's better super broly or gogeta i think right now it's super broly i would give him a slight edge i agree I think right now it's Super Broly. Um, just because, again, like we talked about before. Now, here's the question. What kind of changes do you think we're going to get going into Season 3? Oh, why would you say that? Oh, no. Well, I'm not ready. Here's the thing. Fuzzies aren't getting removed. Whoever thinks... Okay, I want to put up here. Like, I know people want fuzzies removed, but I'm saying fuzzies aren't going to be removed. I'm going to... 
Say that first and foremost. It's not happening. It's physically not possible to take out fuzzies because that means you would change every, every single hitbox in the game. You change them, what, all the mids at that point? Yeah, you would have to, like, literally Well, one them. thing I did see suggested is actually worsening the scaling on all overheads. It's already bad. Yeah, well, I'm talking about making them, like, even worse. I don't agree with that. And I'm no. like, so what? They have to fuzzy you extra times now? Like, I, I don't think that addresses your complaint with fuzzies, which is I think you just don't like being hit by them, which is understandable because it, like, hits certain characters unfairly compared to others. And unfortunately, Frieza is apparently a little bit too tall. But, like... I, you know, that's a stat, yeah. Like, I mean, I don't think fuzzies are going to get removed. Um, I think GT Goku is going to get nerfed. 100%. I would be stunned. I'd be truly stunned. I think Kid Buu is going to get nerfed with a question mark again, where I think they're going to hit him, but I don't know what the hell they're actually going to do. Same with Bardock. They're going to hit Bardock. But here's the thing. I think they're only going to hit Bardock a little bit. I think Bardock is going to be the least hit character going into Season 3. I'm calling it right now. I think the only thing they're going to change about is EX Lariat. I think That's not going to jail anymore. I think that's what's going to happen. I think, I think that's the only thing they're going to nerf. Because here's um, the thing, Bardock's really, really good, but Bardock is inherently a fair character. Fair top tier. Yeah, he's, he's top tier, but fair. Um, I think you're going to see Teen Gohan get hit. Yes, sir. I think A Gohan's getting hit. Yep. Beyond that, though? I think the only things... See, then you, you can kind of, like, one thing that I... You don't think... Is, actually, Toy Toy says he doesn't think a Gohan's going to get hit. I think Gohan, adult Gohan in particular, is in a spot where the only things you really could do is maybe change how much advantage you get off the... No, that's not even what they change. Exactly, but, like... No, what they think, change with him, they change, they do change EX legs, but they don't change that. They're going to change the scaling on EX legs. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. They're going to make it so you don't lose three-fourths of your health bar for being hit by EX legs anymore. That's smart. I feel like the way... Because right like... now, how many adult Gohans do you watch just kind of like casually throw legs mid-screen? Why? Because the what's the risk-reward there? You get plus frames or you lose half a bar. Half your life. See what I mean? That's... Yeah. I, I think they're probably Vermeer. I think they're probably gonna touch his frame data. Two L zero on block is too much. Yeah, that's another change I would like them to do. I think Adult Gohan's gonna be kind of out of their crosshair cell, which is why I don't think they're gonna do anything too drastic to him. I think he's enough of a problem he's gonna get hit, but he's got high level representation. He just doesn't. He's not the thing on every single casual player's mind, if that makes any sense. No, yeah, right. It's like, he's not... The thing is, is, like, he's one of the top tiers. Like, he's really, really good, and, like, he's... Did, but, like, he's turning into a... Rock. Like, well... I, I would like the 2L change to make it minus. I, I think that would be completely reasonable. I agree. That way they can't do stuff like keep staggering 2L, which is... Yeah. Also, also, I really would love to see, again, like all those characters we mentioned before get buffed in some way. Gogeta, I think Gogeta deserves to get. Buffed. I think Jiren deserves to get buffed. I think. I think Super. I. I. What would you change about Super Broly? I think Super Broly is in an okay spot. Janemba. I would love to see get. I think Super Broly is a better character than the meta lets him be. I agree. Because that's the other thing you got to keep in mind, right? Like, right now, some people could go maybe try to make a case for Piccolo could use slight buffs, right? I think it's only because Piccolo is being oppressed. I think, personally, Piccolo is fine. I, I don't think Piccolo needs to be touched. The characters who need touching, Jiren, buffs. Krillin, buffs. Nappa, careful buffs. Videl, buffs. 16, just a little reverting. 
not a ton. Blue Jita, make him a little less fair. Tien is... I don't know. I want, give Tien I want, something else. I don't know what you want, need to give Tien. I want Tien back. I want Tien back. I want Tien back. Honestly, Goku Black is fine. Like... I would really like to see Blue Koo get buffed again. Blue Koo will probably get buffed. Beerus? Beerus gets buffed. Beerus needs it. Tr- see, I think Trunks is a good spot. Trunks does not need a buff. Trunks yeah, is Trunks. fine. Yamcha's fine. Uh, like, because there's characters like Majin Buu and Zamasu that don't need buffs. They just have problems in the meta. Right? That's- like, can- or, or like 18. I don't want to buff 18. You buff 18, and then you nerf the top tiers, and you're going to have a really unfun meta. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Like, if you touch... The thing is, if you buff certain characters... Because right now, I think everybody gets really in some way, other than those couple of characters that we mentioned. But, like, if you, like, even, like, mess with, like, making, like, something charts with one character, that character is going to run higher meta. And you're not going to know... We're going to go from the, the daycare meta to, like, the 18 meta, which no one will. So. Yeah, I think 21 and Cell are in a solid spot. Don't really feel yeah. like they need a lot of touching. I think that's just, that's just, like, I think certain things like Dive with 21, because I've heard a lot of things about Dive. Make dive do something with dive. Let's make a buff tier list right now. Like who you who we would like to see buffed. Oh no, uh, Gogeta, 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 Gogeta. Go- <laughs> make me play Gogeta again. Listen, Nitro bro- and I literally had a discussion. Nitro, really? Oh my god, this dude literally like me and him talked for like, a good like two weeks about this character. Like yo, this character. All right, true. hold on, guys, give me a second. I think Zebroly's fine. I think. I'm trying to think what's fun. Yeah, I think Pickle's fine in this map. I feel like there's a couple people that will play him. Um, And do I think he, he needs... I think the one thing... Does he really need any? Uh, does this have all the recent characters? This one doesn't. Uh... I think. Uh, no, that's DLC. Does this have? Why? Why are all the emoji makers missing certain characters? What? I want something done with. Um, if I was able to grab duckers for air grab, that'd be great. But that would be busted. Um, no, this one doesn't have Gogeta. <laughs> Bring back Cell just for the scream. I'd be down. No. See, you would just... I, I, okay. I'm going to sound sound real, real petty. Man, I got, I got kind of tired of the Cell scream after that. Did you? Dude, really? Like, honestly, I was in the CEO crowd. They We literally did the Cell scream like 40 times. <laughs> Getting old. What? Was that too much for you? Yeah. At that point, I was like, bro, can we switch meta? Can we change metas now? Like, please. Oh, come on. You know it was hype. I know it was in the moment, but, like, looking back at it now, you know what I mean? It's like, looking back at it now, man, it would be nice. Well, now it's like, when you get a cell scream, it's hype. When it was, like, every other character, you know? Um... Who else deserves to get buffed? I'm trying to think. Beast Jeet is fine. Um, I'm trying to think about the characters. Yo, could somebody link me to a uh, to the tier list maker that actually has all the characters? I keep seeing ones that have like almost all the characters. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, 
Actually, while I'm pulling up my ML app typo, I'll look at chat while you're doing that. Absolutely. What's up, chat? Talk to me. What's going on with you? What's going on, boys? It's all right. Nah, it's Yo, all Seven, we're actually discussing who we would like to see buffed here. Oh, my God. No. Se Wait, Seven. Aren't you in a party right now? And? Seven, you think Seven's not going to come through because of that? Bro. This man, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This man has, I was in this party. And this party's got way bigger. You feeling good? I'm, you look pale. Bro, I'm just tired. I've been working a lot. I don't feel, I, I look pale? What? Damn, dude. You're really out here looking pale. Apparently, I look pale. That's uh, a new one. Unfortunate. Hold well, on. because, listen, I'm part vampire when it comes to the cold, bro. I just want to be, like, bundled up in my... He's not... Yeah, like... somebody, somebody linked me to the Moji Maker that has all of the characters. Because I can't only find ones, but they're all missing the characters that I want. Which is all of them. That's true. Oh, is this one? Does this have all the characters? Look it up real quick. Oh my god, you linked me to my own health based tier list. <laughs> that's fucking godlike. Oh, that's godlike. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, I can reset that now. Alright, thank you. Oh my Christ. That is godlike. I'm, also I that actually one. cracks me up. Do you do you need it still? Because I have one. Hold on, let me just uh let me make this full screen real quick. All right, let's. All right, chat. Give me one second so I can go ahead and get this set up for you. Display capture. All right, guys. Here we go, guys. Display capture. Let's do it. So All right, let's do those it. of you who are looking at the third screen, here we go. So this is going to be purely a buff tier list, right? So the whole idea is what characters we would like to see buff. This is not about how good a character currently is. All right. Please, just, do me, just do me a favor, J. Diesel. When you write the tier list on the side of it, please just indicate we want buffs and like just add it like actually when in the right like the right on the on the left okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like the different subsections this way when they when twitter because i know twitter will go off about this i'm i'm listen listen seven i'm doing the world a favor right now i should just call him on the on the I should call him from the party and be like, bro, it's going to be okay. Figure this out. Someone clip this when this is over. That's OD. Bro, all I'm thinking about... Man, what are they going to do? Hold on. I have the full cast. Um, I have an idea who I want buffed. I really do. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what to call it. Minor, minor nerfs. Minor nerfs, yes. <laughs> definitely needs a nerf. Actually, not even definitely needs a nerf. Definitely getting a nerf. Alright, guys. Do we need more categories? I don't think we what's what do you got so far top is definitely needs buffs one right below that is needs small buffs then no changes then minor nerfs then definitely getting a nerf i agree with that all right let's do it, let's do it. A android 16 needs a buff small buff small buffs yeah small i don't buffs. think i don't think you like Android 17. Small buffs. I don't think he needs anything major. I think 18 is no changes. 
Really? What would you would you nerf her, or would you give her a no. small buff? You see, what would you give her though? Like, what would you? What That's what like... I'm saying. There's like, what what minor buff do you give? 18. Because like, also remember, this is in context of a world where these other characters have been changed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. So would you give her... Because here's the thing. I think 16 needs a small buff. I think 17 yeah, needs a small buff. I don't think 18's that same. I think if the if like the top tiers were reined in slightly, I think 18 would be fine. Okay. So, I, I, you know, I agree with that. So I would put her in the no changes category. Okay, that's fair. Fair. Android 21. Change dive and you're good. All right, so small buff. Small buffs. Kite's probably like yeah. I think... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put small buff needs small buff slash quality of life. Qual yes. Make that a subcategory. Like that with that yeah. You know what? I'm actually gonna put that in the middle. Hold on, where? Okay. Let me go ahead and add another row. Whatever. Add a row above. Yeah, I'm gonna interact with you guys while we do this. Okay, so this one's gonna be. This is so right below small buff. We're just gonna have quality of life. Yeah, I think he, she needs quality of life. Right, where I don't think she actually needs a real buff. She just needs make dive better. Someone said buff Bardock. Um, Bardock. Um, no. Now this might be controversial, but I would actually put Bardock under no changes. I agree. I, I mean, actually, no. He needs a minor nerf. nerf. I need him. He he needs one nerf. Just don't make ex Larry. Don't make jail. ex Larry at jail. Yes. Alien yeah. would like to know your location. That's. I think that's the only thing you would really base coup. About. Base coup. What would you give him? I think base coup is no changes. I don't think he need to do anything to base coup. I know some people hate his stupid command grab. But that that does not need to be taken away. That's fine. That that's complaining to me. Like, yeah, you give seven. Give I seven think I think I think he's a no change. Yeah. Yeah. Base Vachita, the latest hotness. I think he's fine. No changes. Or I think. Like I know well, some people want his fifty fifties toned down. Like I don't. He's not doing anything base coup assist is really really good but base coups his neutral is fair it's fair it is really really fair like if you lost a bit if you lose to base coup and neutral you probably you probably deserved it you know what i mean i've never felt like oh man base coup really cheaped me out there right yeah like i i think base machine is definitely i think these characters are actually fine. I mean, maybe, a, like, I, I don't think he really needs anything. Yeah, I think he's fine. I agree with that. Beerus? Buff. I think Beerus needs a major buff. Oh, my God. Make his aura super dash. No, 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 no. You cannot do that. Floki, I'm telling you, right, if you made it so su orbs could not be super dashed, that would be awful. Do you know how many jails that would set up? All right. All right. I you're lucky that people can't see your face right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Z Broly. Z he's fine. Uh some people want his zoning nerfed a little bit, but it's no it's, it's I think he's fine. He's fine. Ginyu Give him what small do you buff. Say? Well, okay. I, I want to put it as a quality of life, but it's not a quality of life because it's a little more impactful than that. Is okay. What I want, I want them to remove cross up protection on the Ginyu Force. Hmm. I want I want unblockable Goldo back, or pseudo unblockable Goldo. I want that back. I'm but. Talking. I, I'm going to say a small buff. And now here's the thing. I don't think you need to do anything wildly different to make the character 
better. Like, I don't think Ginyu needs to be given, like, wild new tools. I think Ginyu has enough tools. Right. But I do think that Ginyu needs help. Your boy, Cell. Loki. Mm. What are you thinking? What? Um, I think he's fine. What would you give that's good? I don't think you really need to give Cell anything. <laughs> like, Cell, I think, is a solid... Like, here's the thing. If you're an A-tier character, you probably don't need changes. You know what I mean? Right. Quality of life change... Seven, what quality of life change would you be thinking? Yeah. Like, what Gold. What specifically? With 21, the dive would be the quality of life change. Yeah, I don't know. Also, let me change the color setting. Yeah, go. We'll wait for seven to get back. What do you, what do you think? I mean... Honestly, I think he's okay. I don't think he he really needs much. Mu yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. Is like he doesn't need anything. Crazy. He either needs no changes, or if there's some small quality of life thing that really wouldn't warp him as a character, I could see that. But yeah. cooler. Oh my god! I can't. I can't buff cooler. I, I, seven, I love you, Dad. Actually, no, Dad made me mad today. Would you? Okay, are there any quality of life changes that Cooler would need? Um, not really. Like, no. but... what would you give him? Like, what? Well, what does he need? Yeah, I, I think he's pretty solidly here. Uh, I don't think I don't think Cooler needs a nerf either. Like I've never felt like Cooler's an oppressive character. Like the only thing that people get complained about with Cooler is his three H. Three H and dive kick. Make dive you no, don't make dive no, I think his dive kick being plus for how risky it is. It's so good. It's worth that, you know? It's 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 justified. If versus... Cooler jumps up in the air in front of you and does a dive kick and he didn't spend assist to lock you down first to set up plus frames, he deserves those plus frames. And if you don't 2 H it, that's your fault. Yeah. Your fault. Make his stuff invincible. Frieza. Can we please make him shorter? Yeah, I, I almost want to put that as a quality of life change. That is Alucard coming out in the my god. Make Brian. Frieza not fuzzy a pull as a quality of life change. That is truly a quality of life change. Yeah. It, it would be to fix his 2H, 3H hitbox. You think small buff? Kind of what? The same category? Because, like, he is a zoner like Ginyu, but he plays nothing like him. I think small buffs is a good way to put it. Someone said nerfs the monsters around relax. Zam? Relax. I don't know. Do you? I, does Zam? I don't think Zam really. Zam does not need major buffs. That's off Zam, the table. I think Zamasu is fine. Zam does not need nerfs either. Zam's fine. Yeah, I, I think Zam is. He's a good character. Adult. Go. Actually, Zamasu does have quality of life problems. Okay, put him there. That's that. Because I know that I've heard that some of his roots can be kind of wonky. Yeah, that's true. I, I've never played Zamasu. That's but I'm, I'm going to asterisk Zamasu with a, I am not knowledgeable enough about the character in order to be able to fully pass. Like, I feel like deep judgment. I mean, that's he could also be no changes, but. That's the thing. Adult like... Gohan. Needs a slight nerf. Minor nerf. Honestly, yeah. I like changing his 2L. <clears throat> two, yeah, his 2 the Either change something about his 2L. Or well, here's the thing. Like, part of this is, like, if you look at this list, if you if you touch everybody else and you leave Adult Gohan shilling, that's not where you want to be. Because no. that Adult Gohan just becomes the gold standard. But I also don't think Adult Gohan needs the nerf bat taken to him. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think slight nerfs is, like, perfect because, like, you can get... That EX thing that we talked about. Teen mm -hmm. Gohan. 
I think a slight nerf is coming his way. What do you hit? Do you How hit his EX leg scalings too? No, I think, yeah, that or you fucking... Is his the... auto combo gonna get hit a little bit? Change the missile. Really? At this point, they can make that thing go full screen. They're gonna probably make it full screen and ca I love you, Calimax, but Calimax is gonna thrive. <laughs> Man's is gonna be like, oh, you guys can't see it. I'm gonna be at the other corner. Man's gonna go L, L. And then yeah, I, I, I don't think he needs a nerf bat, but he needs to be touched, right? Yeah, I think minor nerf is good. Goku Black. Give him, uh, give him minor, give him quality. Buff. He has quality of life problems. Yeah, give him, give him a minor buff. Do it for ha has. Man's, man's, man's needs some Blue help. Blue Blue, uh, I don't know, like, cause he could hold on. Goku Black could also be quality of life though. Okay, that's fair. Blue Koo, Goku Cat needs to be go right by, beside Beerus. You think he belongs next to Beerus? Beerus? He's not that bad. He's not, no. No, you can sell me on a lot of things. He is not as bad as Beerus. Seven, don't make me jump on the party right now and, and, and like, curse Now, you granted, out. he is the worst beam assist. Make, <laughs> yes. make his dive kick a high. <laughs> I actually kind of like... Buku's quality of life. I think Buku is, like, very, like, I think he's one of those characters that's very strong. But, like, this needs small quality of life. I think his assist is definitely where the. What are you about to do with Goku Cap? Look, Goku Cap is not as bad as Virus. I re I refuse. If he's not that bad, then why did I drop him? Because here's the problem with Goku Black. Goku Black is multi problem. One, it's basically this. Why would you play him when SSJ Goku exists? True. You're literally playing a worse version of another character that is in the game. Who does the thing that you care about with the character in the first place, which is the assist. And has more stable neutral. Yeah. Goku Black's problem is this character right here. This character right here is just better than. Just straight yeah. up. Yeah. And what, okay, what's Goku Black supposed to get for comp to compensate? He has a teleport that's pretty reactable. He's got a slow command grab. Yeah, he does. And he used to be able to loop his supers. He can't even do that anymore. I remember those days. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I think he needs small buff. I don't know. God, now after saying it out loud, I almost want to give him major buffs, but. Yeah, we need to give we need to give that man. Just make Goku black. Too. You know all right, I think I'm. All right, all right. You guys are right. I think I might have talked myself into it. But God, that's <laughs> oh, Goku Cat. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> all right. Oh my God. All right, y'all, y'all reverse psychology be chat. I'll remember this. I'm just watching the chat. All so right. Awesome. SSJ Goku. Nothing. I think fine. I think his character's fine. I think your goal should be to make these two characters basically the same, which means that he probably goes there. Buff yeah. Goku. Look, my in a perfect world, Goku Black would be as good as SSJ Goku, but for different reasons. Agreed. That's a really good That's a it. perfect world for me. Because imagine if Goku Black's neutral was good enough where he had a better neutral than SSJ, but his assist is worse. Then there's a discussion, right? Go Gold. tanks. Uh, I think he's okay. Like he's not doing anything. That's crazy. No changes. I think he's no changes. He like I think if you raid in the rest of the meta, I think he'll he'll be fine. Exactly. No changes. Oh boy! Up next is hit. Uh, do do we phone a friend? Do we phone a friend? All right, seven. Do it. All right, I'm gonna phone. A, I'm gonna phone a friend. I gotta phone a friend real quick. <laughs> oh, 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 add him to the Discord call. 
I'm gonna phone a friend. Okay, hold on. Let me. By the way, Go Texas had some of the worst results since uh, since this season started. So Go Tags needs. Oh my God! Hold on. Oh, here we go, boys. We've got we've got a, a surprise guest on the line. Evan, I, I need you to phone a friend. What's your opinion on hit? Dad. Oh. Seven. Dad. 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 First impromptu guest of season two. Yeah. Honestly. It's weird because Hit's one of the like oh it's kind of a volatile character and that his ground control is insane. It's true. But his aerials are questionable. Yeah. And this is cat. Oh, there he speaks. And this, this list is cat. What? How is this list cap? This is cat. Who's cap? I don't mean I don't let me just I don't hit I don't I don't hear myself double. That sounds like a personal problem. Talk to me, Seven. Who on who on place smell this list? You see what that sixteen? You see that sixteen's at? Yeah. Alright, this is me being biased. I, I I love that character. So put that boy put that boy in the yellow. Don't dog, he don't need to be in the orange. No. Never again. No. He See I not... appreciate I appreciate what you guys put Gold Tanks though, because I, I don't ever want to have to deal with that ever again. <laughs> Yo, well, this actually, man really did not. Yo, what, Well here's the thing. Know? I think sixteen got hit way harder than Go Tanks. I mean, sixteen got hit the hardest out of any. any yeah, game which game. means I think go ta- I think he deserves a slight buff buff to compensate, where there's no buff to compensate for, for go tanks. I think only, sixteen deserves that small buff. Only thing, only thing I would really give back to sixteen is the meter gain on his on his grab. Yeah, I mean, he gets like nothing playing that grab. Like, like the grab, the grab and assist, I'd be fine giving him back. So everyone else on this Everything list, else. though. Uh, I put I put cool and quality of life, and that's that's no bias behind that. Because there is all right, bias. All right, I, I talk, okay, both. sell me on it. Sell me on it. What needs to be fixed? All right, so Qual- Gotham, sell me on quality of life for cooler. So so with cooler and Gotham himself said it because Gotham is also cooler. Shout out to the homie. Pretty much when you when you try to go for an anti or cooler, there will be moments to where the super dash will just go behind you. It will that that shit will literally now, like, just circle is around. Is that a you. mechanic of super dash, or is that a no? Cooler that's mechanic? that's cooler. That's a cooler. That's thing. A cool, because when right. cooler, okay. when cooler two H's, he moves forward. So the assist, so the super dash will go behind. Same okay. with same with three H. If you do if you do the three H too early, it'll just go behind him, and he'll just get hit. Now you in the corner, okay. off of some wild stuff. Also, put, I'm gonna cl- I'm gonna Broly, clarify right? to people that these are small quality of life change. They're not there like. They're, they're not, not like, like major boss. We're not like out here being like, "Yo, we're gonna get cooler." And go. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, clarify I that. Also, I I personally also put Cell in quality of life, but that's just me. I know that Cell has problems. I just don't. <sighs> Definitely oh, kidding. It's it's just the main thing. Like they they kept hitting him when they didn't have to hit him. I mean, what would you what would you just like some of the stuff with um, uh, perfect attack. I personally, I personally like his rolling crush to be rolling crush to be back to the way it was. So what? His roller, roller? Yeah, revert the rolling crush and then like JM speed increase. Cause the thing is, that because with Cell, because I talk, I talked to um, Mini Assassin about it. Yeah. Cell has issues. Cell has issues fighting people air, air to air. Like his buttons air to air are not that good. But if he had the JM back, like he would start smoking people again. Cause that's that's it, like cause the other thing is like all these changes are in context of one another, right? Where like yeah. that's why like I don't want to make any changes to characters like eighteen because I think genuinely if you buffed eighteen and nerfed the top tiers, I think eighteen would then become that top tier. You know what I mean? Yeah, eighteen, eighteen base Vegeta. Yeah. yeah, like those characters. If you buff these two, and then you nerfed these guys, you would have a really unfun time. Yeah, my whole. My and my whole thing with adult, my whole thing with adult Gohan is that like you can, and this is this is the best way to change him without destroying the character. I would honestly say just just lock him behind what he was supposed to be locked up behind, which is the level up system. Oh, like properly gate his moves. Yeah, like the fact that you only have to level up one time. What if you made it to you have to put like two meters into him? Like two or two or three meters is fine. He would become a lot worse. 
a lot worse if you did. Yeah, but the thing is, he'd still be like mad crazy. Like you, I think, I think the best thing you could do is when you know he he love he can charge it up. He pretty much charges it up, and you can have you can have just have like the same damage as a level three. Or hell, you can even have have the yeah. same properties as a level two. I would if they went that route though, I would classify that more as like a major buff. A major nerf. Like that would be a major nerf. But the thing no, but the thing is is this it's not that major big of a nerf because a adult Gohan is still pretty much booty on like ground start if he's not leveled up. I don't know. So it's, yeah, it's not so much of the same. So like let's say like in this situation you're on a kid boo point. You know how everybody, you know how everybody does the kid boo. You do the level one to the level, level one for the, for yeah, the yeah. sliding. But in this, down. but in this case, like this dude gets massively buffed. So in, in this case, you could just DHC instead of doing the kid boo knockdown or the kid boo DHC. You could just do, you could just go into Gohan autom like not automatically but immediately. Yeah. And then just charge up three times and you get the you you know you get the level three properties. And there you go. You gotta level up. Go on. Yeah. And chat. Same feel shit. free to weigh in on any of this that we're talking about, because like, was, like the fact, the, the fact that he spends one bar and my man's becomes S tier, like off bat. I don't know. And he gets all that noxious shit on top of like. I don't know. That makes the, me the fuzzy, feel, the fuzzy shit too. I don't know. He feels like a gimmicky phoenix then to me. Like. No, but the thing is, it's like it's rewarded. Like if you're gonna be that crazy of a character, like come on now. But see, that's the thing. Is like I don't think. Leveled up adult go hot. Like, he's incredibly strong, but honestly, I think if they hit two things, two minor things, he'd be a lot toned down. You tone down his 2L. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, there on block. You tone down his scaling on his his um H legs. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you if you leveled him up three times, I think that'd be warranted. But see, I think that's a lot steeper than just toning those things down overall, regardless of the gating. But then, gonna... okay, but then, oh, but then overall, like, if you don't, if you tone that stuff down, and then you don't give him anything to compensate for when he levels up, like, what, like, what, you know, what does he do at that point? I mean, yeah. right now, the only, there's two levels that matter for Adult Gohan, level one and level seven. Yeah, <laughs> no pun intended. Right? But, like, um... like, that's it. Like, you get your level <laughs> one to unlock your, your better B&Bs, and you get level seven for reverse beat. I mean, but the thing is, how how often do you see level seven? I mean, I've seen level seven a handful of times. It's like it's not a real thing. It's really not. Like it's 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 there for when you want to style, you know. That's what, that's what I'm saying. You should just meet the you should just meet the middle ground. And what just make it like a, make, so you're saying yeah, make you should, it like you should level make three him, to cap. Yeah, you should just make him just have a reason to level up more than just level one. What yeah. I would like to do is if they made it instead of seven bars, they made it five. I mean that's fair. Like if they gave him reverse speed at five bars, if you love if you're level fiving somebody basically, I think you deserve reverse speed. Yeah, I think that's fair. Five yeah. bars. But like they'd have to completely overhaul his um his system like we're talking about here, where you'd have to like there's multiple levels to getting that to to where you want it to be. It require a complete rework, but. For for like a simple straightforward change to him, I would like to see a small nerf to Adult Gohan. But we do have to get through the rest of this list. I do like yeah. the idea though. Alright. Hit so um, all right. Hit Hit should just Hit should just go on quality light changes. He shouldn't he doesn't need like huge buffs. Cause they're going the thing is they're gonna keep buffing him regardless. Cause people people keep complaining about him. Seven or are you really at a party? Back? Chat needs to know. It's a S seven is really at a party. No. Man, listen, I don't know. I'm looking at I'm looking at the uh, PSN party. Oh yeah, I'm in the PSN party. I just unplugged my yeah, mic. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you you yeah. excuse me. All right. You have. Yeah, Flo, you was in the party early. I'm still in the same party. I just unplugged my mic. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you... here, here we go. One of one of the like mainstay characters here, Kid Boo. Uh. Oh, Kid Boo. Yeah, just just put him in blue. Yeah, he's, blue, he's blue. definitely yeah. getting a nerf. That's it. That's done. Yeah, like kid, like GT, you might as well just put him in there too. Like you, should, you, you actually just had GT in the blue before this even started. Yeah, it's true. I could have started the list by placing him. Yeah, just put those two in blue automatically. I think, I think Krillin's just gonna go in the red right here. Yeah, Krillin, Krillin in the red. Jiren definitely in the red. I. Jay, we 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 already had this talk. We had this talk. God, he's we, we, I know we he's literally awful. had this talk, Jay. Jay, that character. Is 
any minor plays during, I'm sorry, that character is trash. <laughs> okay, but here's the they, thing: if you right. speed up his command grab, like, okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm actually we, we had this conversation before. Would you rather have a Krillin on your team, or would you rather have a Jiren? I'd rather have a Krillin. All right, there. All, All right, right, put that. All board, right, <laughs> fine. Fine. Like there, no, By that no logic, yeah. On that. Uh, all right. Nappa's only small buff. He might even be quality of life. I'm actually not. Sure. I put I put Nappa in small. I put him small buff. Small buffs and quality of life. Because the thing is, he's pretty much in both. But the reason why I think Nappa needs both is because he he sucks in the neutral. He doesn't. He can't do anything in the neutral. Piccolo's no change. He's gonna throw that burly ass that, that brolic ass key blast. Yeah. I mean, the only yeah. thing, okay, the cool things that Nappa's got is, like, he's got armor, and the Cyberman is cute once you get it up, and there's cute Cyberman setups, but that, like, assumes you already got the... Yeah, that, mean, that means you, you made it in. That, that means, that means you're, it's warranted. You want... So, by all means, you can do your shit. Like, Majin Buu... No changes to Majin Buu. You... I, I don't think you... I mean, maybe... Yeah, I think... I, I personally think it's just not the matter for Piccolo and Majin Buu. I don't think there is... No, that's changes. the thing. Like, there are certain characters... Like, people are so quick to be like, oh, this character is bad now. They're not bad. It's just not their meta. They're just not their meta. Like, Piccolo, if we were still in the not... If this character down here, GT, had never come along, this character would be here. 100%. I guarantee Yeah! It. Yeah! Yeah, but it's like... It's just, it's just not his meta. So. Machido... I think he's... Vegito, Vegito just needs small buffs. Yeah. Not, not even quality. He needs small buffs. Yeah. Just over time, over time, people have just gotten used to him. They realize, like, he can't really, per se, do much, per se. Yeah, I actually, I agree with Trillium. Give him the meter gain back. That character... Yeah, like, it's like with, like with Vegito... There's no reason for that. If, if you're... If, go ahead. So here's the question. If, if he gets the meter gain, gain back, does Charles go back to Charles Vegito? Yes. Probably, yeah. It's just, it's just like with Vegito now. Is like if you don't, if you're fighting a Vegito and you don't have like the brain of a pigeon, like you should be straight. <laughs> like you know, you should Vegito oh, shouldn't be that big. Of a pigeon. There's only like two good Vegitos, and and that's it. Every other Vegito, no, no offense, to anybody's actually like out there still playing him. It's like he's they kind of booty. Uh Tien. He needs to have the health loss reverted wait what no no no. as in like i think tn i'm sorry tn just needs to lose less health he already loses less health i i know my pro like okay my dying. problem is tn that's not, should that's it, not TN, TN is just he he needs to be an anchor but he also loses health for supering tn's tn's whole tn's whole issue is that because at this point the health the health joint is like so minuscule and the thing is if you really want to buff if you really want to buff that shit you just make that healthy loss into blue. That's all you gotta do. I like you that. Make yeah. The, the main the main issue that Tien needs or has is the fact that compared to a lot of other anchors, his combo routes are booty. Yeah. They are. Like you you have you have Vegeta you have Vegeta routes you have the go you definitely have the Goku. No, okay, routes. the SSJ Goku hell. routes are insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like hell, you even you even have the Gohan, not the Gohan. Excuse me. You even have like the Yamcha routes. Like every anchor has like routes that they can do to like clean up shop. Tien literally has like the basic the basic launcher into whatever. He doesn't have his own like, you know he doesn't have his own unique route. It's just the game's the game's basic route. Yeah. Like that's 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 his main issue. I think Trump doesn't have his he doesn't have his own route that makes him that fit. that I can I can agree with. Like and the thing is like you always get scared to get touched by Tien. But it's yeah. only because of his damage from his supers, not his actual roots themselves. Like other characters, you're scared if you get touched and they have one bar. I'm... True. Yeah, and his his key blast is also kind of booty. His okay. air key blast, excuse me. Air key, yeah, air yeah. key blast. Air key blast is like I really think fun. Trunks is no changes. I don't think you do anything to that character. He's fine. Oh no, 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 no. I'll, I'll put him in. I'll put him in small quality. Life. I'll put him in small quality. Small what, quality. What are you gonna adjust? His flip? No, his his frame data. He can't. Trunks is one of the only anchors that cannot stagger. I think that's fine. I don't think Trucks needs to be able to stack. I feel I feel he needs to. Because really? the thing is like it, Trunks Trunks' stuff is so like straightforward that you don't if he if he doesn't have the assist behind him, it's like he can't he can't do anything. He has to commit to his stuff. 
almost everybody in the game, excluding a few characters, can do can at least stagger just a little bit. Trunks like can't. I think his his five was like minus like seven or eight or something like. I that. mean, so the fact okay, the fact he can set up plus for like his ability to set up plus frames on like wake up is so good as an anchor. Like with change the future. I mean, yeah, that's that's like, cool. He can set I up think, variable. I... He can set up variable plus frames. He is one of the only assists in the game that can challenge other assists and win the majority of the time. He's got EX Demon Flip, which combined with Bubble Gum is you know mid stage fifty yeah, yeah. fifty. Like, I think I think that's fine. I think I think that's like great. Well, that's one of the great tools he has. That's why I don't want him to get small balls. I don't yeah. want him to get caught in life. Here's the thing: like, even even his jab, his jab's like minus four. I think Big Trunks and Fusion Trunks are like similar in quality as, as characters. Mm. But I think I don't, I don't Big Trunks is more stable. Pre nerf pre pre nerf Gotex was definitely better. But like I don't know, I'm hesitant to adjust Trunks too much. I mean, granted, maybe it's cuz I played Sage a bunch and Sage just has me spooked to that character. Yeah, that's what um that that's that's what I talked about with Trunks. Like Sage, he pretty much he pretty much told me that like Trunks Trunks and Staggers are like booty that's the only thing that's the only thing like sage would want from trunks he wouldn't want anything else he would just want the staggers to be better because you can't really do too much in trunks with his block strings besides commit that that's his whole issue after that after that i think the character would be fine if he had that i would put him in no changes but just quality of life you don't got to do it on all of his normals no just i like, would maybe know, change like, five like one move slightly but yeah yeah it's just like it's like five on two i think that'd be fine yeah, the God 635. Yeah, that's part of the reason 17 is not uh, indefinitely needs buffs. Because if he, w I think if you gave 17 major buffs, he would be actually a problem. Yeah, I think the only only thing I'd want from... Ooh, ooh. I think the only thing I want from 17 is his 214S and 236S. I would like him to be able to block. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Everything else, can keep it the same. Blue Jita is small buffs. Or is he... I don't Hell... Hell no, nah, put that dude in red. Uh, oh my god, that character is abysmally bad. But he, he's bad moly. because he's fair. Like oh, I can take oh, I can take you I can take a whole like synopsis and training. Oh room. my god. That character nah not even synopsis. I can write a two page essay on why this dude is buns. You are and, and the thing is I'm mad I'm mad that he's buns too, because I, I love that character. Like Vegeta as a whole, I fuck with that character, but he's just awful. Like blue is terrible. And I hate it so much. Because on top of that, he he overall got nerfed. He got net nerfed. Like pretty pretty much, pretty much the records, the records that he had before. Yeah. Like they they, they they got the, they got the first part right. They was like, okay, cool, you can jail on these joints now. But now he got. I think it was like they they did like recovery on him or something. Now he has recovery on that shit. So, you know, there goes that. Uh... Big bang attack assist is still doo doo because guess what? The hitbox is still whack. And on top of that, yeah, you can also you can also stand in that shit. Like while he's starting it up, you can literally stand in it and you won't get touched. I've definitely dr'd a blue Jita out of that before. Like, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, you got me. You got me. Some booty. One. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, and then, uh, SSJ Vegeta, no changes. That character, no changes. He's fine. That he's character's fine. fine. Yamcha, yeah. no changes. Well, uh, actually, not only thing. Only thing I give Vegeta, and this is no bias. It's just two, three, six S. I I prefer not on Vance, not on Vance. I just prefer like the move as a whole to just like jail. You won't be, you're not able to super dash through it. No, I, I I I prefer that. I I think in the world that you're trying to create with this list, I I think he's fine as is. I don't know with two, three, two, three, six S. Not jailing into, not jailing into vanish. It's just like if you block the move, like you're just there. It's not plus or anything. That's true. I yeah, don't know. It's just like I, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't make you. I want to jail in advance. That's that's too much. Because I'm like, like, like yeah, that poke. would be that would be excessive. Like yeah, just just a poke. I, mean, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think no jail in advance. You just block. I think Yamcha stays the same. I don't think yeah, you Yamcha. I mean, Yamcha does have some problems with his buttons though. Like, but like that's mitigated to his what assist. he's doing. Yeah. He said, "Could I actually write a two-page essay on Blue Vegeta?" Absolutely. I played that character for like almost the entirety right. of season. I'm gonna one. go ahead and I'm gonna make the non controversial pay of putting Videl in the red. Yes. Yeah. Please. please just just throw her up there. Yeah. Make her not make her not have to five touch somebody and actually give her the the deflect mechanic. 
or not, you don't even gotta give it a B flag mechanic. Just make it so that if you get a successful, if you get a successful sway, it just automatically cancels. I think you Janemba's know, quality of life. Janemba's I'll say small. I'll say small buffs. Really, you think you think the three purple, the three purple men are all all small buffs? Yeah, yeah, I'd put Janemba small buffs. Only thing, I think the main things I'll do is Janemba. Yeah. So y- y'all see y'all see that assist right, and we all. We have a lot of people on that, you know, it's, it's all right. But for the most part, a lot of people say it's booty. My whole thing, my whole thing with that assist is like, if it was actually faster, that assist would be phenomenal. Fact. Like that, you have you have a tracking assist. That I mean, you could you... do stuff like counter hit people with it. Like, there's some weird stuff you could get. You could yeah, do... there's, there's like there's like weird stuff. But I think like for like, for intended use besides like combo extensions, just having it be an actual neutral assist would be great. Just just because of the fact that it tracks you anywhere. All and right. of course, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be broken because you could super dash it and stuff. We are mm-hmm. we are down to the last two. Oh, and two all low. All right, Gogeta first. Small Gogeta. Buff. Yeah, buff. I think buff. we were discussing this earlier. Frame buff. data. Buff. Yeah. Like, and that's it. You don't need to change any moves. He doesn't. I I don't think he has a single useless move. Oh, um, the. Oh, listen, I think if you make his beams worth using... If you make his neutral, beams not, like, minus 40, where they feel, like, awful... Or, like, if... Don't make them slow. Like, make them, like, I don't know, like, Trunks-esque. You know I what think I mean? Super like, Broly's in the same boat as Gogeta. Yeah, yeah, he just needs... Bro, Super Broly's his better frame data. Everything else on Broly is just, like... Because here's the thing, though. I, 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 if you don't want to do this... Because if you if you were to like really buff Super Broly, I think he'd be the be- one of the best characters in the game. Easy. Yeah, that character that character is already like mad fucking good. It's just for it's just frame data issues. That's it. That's it. Damn. No, no. As, as for as for Mister Green, the original Green guy, I'd put him in minor nurse. That's about Piccolo? it. Piccolo? No, 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 no. I'm talking I'm talking about the original Broly. I was gonna say I was going to. Literally, All right, so, so my, All right, my you, whole you're thing, gonna have to actually sell me on this one. So, all right, you see Frieza, right? I yeah. do. You see how he's supposed to be the staple zoner, right? Yeah. Hey, all right. Pokey, all right, so, earlier, so let's go. Did I say that people wanted his zoning there? Did I not say that verbatim? Okay, no, 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 no. That. See, that that's that's not that's not my issue. That that's that's not my main issue. Okay. Well, we'll get back to that in a second. All right. So let's let's look at let's look at let's look at Z Broly, right? All right. So now you got you got this massive just muscle head, blockhead, if you will. That pretty much, if you look at everything that Frieza wants to do, and then you look at Broly, and then you ask yourself, why am I not playing this character? Yes. You, should, you you probably should start asking yourself because a Frieza, Frieza wants to zone. Broly can do that. Frieza wants an answer to zoning. Broly can do that. Let's see here. Um, a reliable two H. Broly definitely has that. Bro, okay. Broly you, does you, you have want, a reliable two H. And give then you if you that want, one. if you want to be, if you want to, if you want to make him, Frieza also wants to try to be terrifying up close. Broly can do that. So it's like I look. I completely you put two agree and two together. The, I I will agree that Broly Z Broly is a better zoner than Frieza. I I do and then, and then when Frieza and then when Frieza gets close to you, you know, to try to mix you up. Yeah. Who's who's more scary, Broly in your face or Frieza in your face? I'm much more. All right. I, I'm much more scared of Broly. I, I, Broly is just so on the line for me. We're like, and you want to know, you want to know why they're the same character? Why? Both of them zone, and you can't and you can't say that. Oh, I I want to pick one. I want to pick one or the other because one doesn't get fuzzy. That's not the case because guess what, Jay? Both of them get fuzzy. Uh, so which one you pick? Yeah. I you you might you might as well take the bigger gun. Broly with that minor nerf. And get and guess and guess which one requires less work to use, but also does the same job, but better, and also has an armored command throw. Okay, so let's take a second. Also I, has I, air I, options. You you've convinced me to move him to minor nerf. I'm not a major, a minor. Yeah, no, 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 no major, no major, just minor. Looking at this meta that we would create, 
if all of this were to go through, what would you expect the meta to be like? If all this were to go through, all of this goes through. Uh, without adding multiple assists, I would probably, I'd say Bardock would still be there because Bardock I, as a whole, Bardock fundamentally is just a good character. You know what's funny? I, I personally am okay with Bardock being the best character in the game. I, I mean, Bard. I consider Bardock a show, though. Like, he's just, he's just going to be good. Like, no matter what you do to like him, he's just going to be good. like Ryu being the best character in the game. Which is like... Because here's the thing. Every time I lose to Bardock, I, like, since he's been nerfed, at least, I've never been like, damn, I really felt like Bardock oppressed me till I died. It's normally, oh, well, they outplayed me in neutral, they got in, they ran their mix, and they got me. You know what I mean? It's like... it's It doesn't feel like I was, like... Over like Kid Boo, when I get opened up by Kid Boo, I feel like damn, there was nothing I could do. When I get opened yeah, up it, by it, Bardock, it's, it's, it's like that fair. sometimes. Yeah, it's like that sometimes. So I, I don't know. Like, like when, when Bardock when Bardock does Bardock things, you can't really be mad at it because it's like it's it's all straightforward. I will say, there, there's nothing there's nothing crazy about Bardock They anymore. catch me with Lariat, I do cry a little bit. Yeah, that's 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 what makes Bardock Bardock. But like. He, He's fundamentals one on one. Yeah, so I think if you were to if you were to alter the game like this, I think Kid Boo and GT would become more niche characters. Like I think they would still be like widely played, but they would not have the same meta percentage they do now. Not a chance with nah, major nerfs. Not at all. Especially Bardock, with GT, there, there's ways, there's ways to nerf GT. Bardock so. would go down. So Bardock is currently on about thirty. I want to say it's my number. Last time I checked was thirty two point five percent of teams. Right. I would expect yeah. Bardock's market share to go down to like twenty five ish. Yeah, Bardock. Ironically, Bardock's <laughs> already been going down because these other characters are getting crazier and crazier. So it's like people realizing like this man's getting too old. Yeah, I. It's harder for him to. It's harder for him to get away with stuff. You would start seeing a lot more specialist players in a meta like this. You would, yeah. This and would be all, not a meta where depends... you'd, start, you'd have to like legitimately think about, oh no, the Napa player in my region. Yeah, it, you know? And it'll also, it'll also depend on how they how they change the mechanics. True. Like if they, for the love of God, I hope they do. If they nerf like raw tag and stuff, like a lot of characters wouldn't be able to make you explode as hard as they did. That's true. Like there, there are certain characters in the game that make you explode off a of raw tag. Yeah, I'm not gonna it's lie. It's also Every time kind of I abysmal. Raw tag, and then I dump like four meter and kill a character. It's like, oh, yeah, I deserved that, right? Like that was, you know, felt good. I deserve. I like all for guessing one raw tag right. Mm-hmm. Like raw tag change, raw tag change will mess up some if characters. If Broly is so good, why is he not played much in tournament? It's literally because of these other five characters right here. Yeah. If those five characters, if they if they checked fuzzies, do you know how rampant this dude Broly would Imagine be? Imagine if Broly right now? didn't have fuzzies. If Broly could just mash out armor. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's another thing. Character representation has nothing to do with how good a yeah. character is, like at all. Also, if you watch the Kill Sage play this character, it's it's brutal. Like, yeah, like that's the thing. Broly stops on. 90% of the cast. Every pseudo zoner in the game, eaten by Broly. Every kind of like mid range scrappy character, killed by Broly. Yeah. Broly like only Bro loses to hyper aggression lockdown snap. Yeah, the thing is if you make if you make Broly block, that's when he loses. Because a lot of his characters like he he smokes. Like Bardock, he he destroys Bardock. Oh well, are you gonna start larrying across the screen when there's projectiles that are like a fourth of the screen flying at you? Nope. Yeah, I mean he bullies like dude... he, he bullies a lot of characters. Also, you don't want to super dash a Broly. Nope. Because he also has ways to deal with that. I mean, hell, he can even go into his armored projectile and pick you up. Like you're saying, let me see. Here. You're saying Z Broly is so good, why is he not played much in tournaments? Well you could say that you can also say that for a lot of characters. Like Hit is mad good, Cooler is mad good, Piccolo's amazing. But he's it's context. Yeah, it's just, like, it's just all like... Like, Piccolo and Broly are both great characters, but they have problems with top tiers. 
or the yeah. current the current reigning reigning top tiers. Yep. Well, congratulations, guys, on creating a beautiful tier list that will one hundred percent be slapped. Let me, on let, me, let me double check. Let me double check this before you solidify. Because uh, I'm, cause I'm no. this is going on Twitter tomorrow. Oh, I'm so- also, I'm so sorry. I've been having issues on my end with my Discord, and I'm like, oh my god, the hell is going on? Is it? I, I mean, is it your is it your internet provider? It might be. I mean, what, right. what's, your internet, what's your internet provider? Uh, Xfinity. Hold that. All right, guys, this is it. This is the last chance to make any changes before I put this live on Twitter tomorrow. Does anybody, does anybody in chat got anything they want to say? Anybody want to point yeah. out something egregiously flawed that Twitter will set me on fire for tomorrow? Or me or Seven. Oh, yeah. Because cause, cause this is this is your your child now, Seven. Okay, you blue, definitely fine. I'm green, I don't care. Green, definitely fine. No changes. I could see Piccolo being controversial. Base Jita being controversial. And that's it. Piccolo is fine. There's a yeah, lot Piccolo's of people fine. who don't feel that way. If Piccolo, if Piccolo is actually as crazy as people are saying like he is, because it's just it's just not for me personally, it's just not his meta. And even even after this meta ends, he's probably just gonna be good just because just because his kit his as a whole is just like hey. valuable. Hey. Like we were talking about that earlier, his kit, like everybody's kit, has something different about them. And yeah. the thing with Piccolo's kit, he's gonna be inherently good because of it, unless you break it, break it in like a way that's like inherently like can make him like. Honestly, wait, wait, I, you're, somebody, you're you're saying Broly needs to be buffed? You mean Zebra with new Broly? I, you you're got new Broly or Z Broly? There, there are two different Brolies, and one of them does it, need buffs, and the other one definitely, it, I don't think, does. S Broly? And then um, a- quality of life changes. I think these are all characters who, like, I think the only one people might complain about is Trunks. Yeah. Like, I would see, I could see people making the argument Trunks doesn't deserve it because Trunks is already sort of a complete character. No, that that dude that it's just it's just frame data. It's just frame data. Small yeah. buffs. Um, I don't think there's a character in here anybody would truly complain about getting buffed. I mean, there are some people I think who overrate Z Broly. Yeah. Who like they'd be like, oh, how are you buffing him? As for the major buffs, that's all. That's all. Like, I know. see some people who would say like Jiren, like only needs small buffs, but like I don't that's know. Cat. Jir- Listen, if you tell if you try to come come tell me that Jiren doesn't need a lot everything in the world, man's capping. My man's my man's Jiren has like seven normals and and two special moves. Honestly, the what the character I'm <laughs> least convinced of this entire thing is Goku Black. It's like oh my, you talking about my man's Goku Cap? I know, I know he's Goku Cap, <laughs> but like he Goku Cap's the only one that I would consider moving a tier. Only one. I think All everybody right, yeah, else so, I feel relatively confident in. Jiren is like my second least one. But All like, right, so like, do you, do you want me to just try to at least try to? You want me to like sell you on Goku Black? All right, tell me one on last Goku. time about Goku Black being as bad All as right. bad as you think he is. All right, so let's let's go ahead and start it. Let's go ahead and start it all correct. All right, hit me with well, the dissertation. Two two L. Let, let's let, we just we we both get that out though. Yep. We we both understand two L is straight guard. Yep. Yeah. Not it's not even a normal at this it's, point. It's I don't even bad. Know what the hell you're for. All right. Yep. Two M also kind of booty because it's yeah. like you got you got Goku right there. On top of that, dog, that shit is as fast. It's as fast as Cooler's two M. That is that's twelve frames. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. All right. All right. So let's, let's let's get let's get to that. All right. So frame data know. already not looking good. I don't know what the hell you are gonna do if it's five S, but whatever. It, it's it's a pretty whack key blast because hey, it don't even it don't even stop the other key blast. How like, you gonna have a key blast like that? She don't even stop it. You gonna mix somebody up with it? Nah, you can just stupid ass that shit. So get that shit out of here. All right. Oh, you you on top of all level three? You on top of all level three pressure? If you do that shit, miss you can just back that shit. This nigga has to spend another bar to make sure you don't backdash it. And guess what? If they see you spin another bar, he can also just backdash the other way. 
So he just spent four bars for nothing. Yeah. yeah let's, let's get that. Let's get out of the way. The fact that he has to guess guess his his own level three Oki. Come on now. Come on now, son. All right. And I also, for, I also forgot to mention. Uh, you know, you know his, you know his instant transmission, his two one four. Yeah. You know, you can hit him out the start of that shit, right? I'm talking. I'm not talking about when he's sitting there doing the pose. I'm talking about when he actually teleports. You can hit that nigga. <laughs> the, yep. Like you and what? What? What is two one four M for? Give Give me one solid reason to use his two one four M. Nope, I got nothing. I'm out. All right. Hold- all right, all right. You, you've, you've... Two, one, two, one for us. Anybody? All right, <laughs> you're 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 selling me on at right. seven. Good, good. We're good, man. All he right. he needs help. He does need help. And he also needs his line knocked off. Yeah. yeah, he needs help. Seven. Like, def- like there's a couple name. characters I could see maybe people making some arguments about. Jaren, Goku Black. That's honestly it. I don't think most of these are that. And Trunks. Those would be the three. That I, I think people would maybe argue about. But no, this list is I think good. People, I think but people he has the two H of a god. I think people also, would Christian argue Christian New Broly, about... super buff. Yeah, New Broly, yep, he definitely needs a buff. Base Vegeta, small quality. I think Base Vegeta's fine. I, yeah. I don't think Base Vegeta needs a buff. No, you don't, you don't need a buff, Base, base Vegeta. You don't, you don't need the buff. Like, that his character though. is, like, already teetering on the brink of being, like, here. Like, he does not, he does not need anything else. I want. I want to say. So look, this is to save to save the shitstorm that's about to be Twitter. I'm. I'm gonna save y'all the trouble right now, so y'all don't get burned. Just put Majin Buu in quality of life. Just put him at the end of quality of life. Do not just take him out of no changes. Me personally, I don't think he needs changes. But there's gonna be some people on Twitter tomorrow. That's that's about to be at your neck. They're gonna they're gonna put, like tag something where like Majin Buu's combos like fall apart. Like yeah, just just, just put him yeah. in put him in quality of life. All right, all right. I can already see it. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to we're trying to prevent um not another Broly 12k. Yo, I got people talking though. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Hey, and Bob agreed with me. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that was it. That was it. They go go on. Uh, oh my god, 12k go Broly. Honestly, the way that people reacted to 12k Broly should have told me he deserves a nerf. Yeah, yeah, because people were actually upset. I had people cursing me out in Spanish for for giving Broly 12k hell. So like, hey, hey man, you, you did an experiment. That's yeah. what I get. But what's yeah. what I get for? I mean, there's nothing, I mean, there's nothing wrong with speak your mind. It's just some people. Some people just, you know. Oh my God, 12K Broly boy. <laughs> Look, it's a new Fuck year, and I've got new tier lists to cause shit storms. All right, that's that's what I'm about. Yeah. yeah, 12K Broly in hindsight was a mistake. It was. Oh my God, kite just came in. Oh no. Piccolo, said, Piccolo no, no change. No oh, I knew it. Go. I called it. I called it. Somebody would complain about Piccolo small. I mean, Be- Kite, what, what, Kite, what would you change? What would you change Kite, on Piccolo? What, Kite, would you slightly, would you do quality of life for Piccolo or give him I mean, nerfs? He's, he's definitely, he's definitely gonna nerf he's got a, You're gonna say nerfs, right? Yeah, there's, there's no man out here I would say Piccolo. <laughs> Kite, I, would I want to hear your opinion on Piccolo. I would buff his air, I would buff his air grab. Maybe. But, like. Uh, Dude, kite, kite, like leaves for like half an hour, and he comes back, and he comes out to a whole destroy hell zone. Can we end the stream? Can we? Can we? All right, so okay, no, 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 no I need, I need to ask. Okay, so if you were to destroy hell zone, what, what would you give him to compensate? Yeah, well, you got to get Piccolo something. You can't just take yeah, away. Can't, Hellzone. You can't just take that and then just not give him anything. What would you do to compensate? His I orb is no longer super dashable. Okay, so he's just trying to destroy Piccolo. Smoke the hitboxes on his normals? Kite, I'm not going to lie. It sounds like you've been wronged by a lot of Piccolos, man. I think he fight if he fights Hypnotic, I can understand. That's true. Hypnotic's him not, him not, like mad, dude. And Flo? 
Okay, but shout out to tell him, like, if you destroy Hellzone, what like, do you what, do? what does Piccolo do after that, Kite? What, what are you going to give him that makes it, like, okay, he don't need Hellzone? Because, like, the characters who are currently getting nerfed Boy. have are, like, insane. Okay, I understand his normals are, like, crazy, but what would you give him? Are, do you expect him to just huge. live on JM? Like, Piccolo's got to eat, too. <laughs> You guys can't see me, but I'm just hitting my screen with the boy every other. Like I just, I just want to know what you would give him. Kite wants Piccolo to be in the crate. Yeah, I, I think he does. Like that's that's obvious at this point. But I want to know what he would give him so he's not like you know, okay, Kite. I agree on his normals being dookie. really good. And I agree on Hellzone, but his position in the meta has been awful. And the idea was if you you agree on Hellzone. Characters... What, Jake? What do you mean? What? Don't enable this man. Well, I mean, he, JM's really good. I'm not going to sit here. Oh, and, no, I, th I, thought you, I thought you said you agree on Hellzone. No, not at all. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Hellzone did, well, we no, Hellzone is good, but Hellzone requires meter, which makes it fundamentally, like, somewhat fair. Also, Piccolo gets dunked on by a lot of characters, to be honest. Thank you! Like, yeah, that, that's the inherent balancing mechanism for Piccolo is, like, Half the cast just smokes Piccolo. That's like that's like the that's like the main thing with Piccolo because he he smokes a lot of characters, but he also gets smoked by a lot of characters. Like he he's so fuzzy, he's in, yeah, he's like Trillium ground. hits it. Like he's fuzzyable, and he also gets destroyed by he loses to Ginyu for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, a lot of characters. I mean, if, if we're being honest, it's just like Ginyu. Ginyu's just in a rough situation right now, but neutral wise, a lot of characters. Yeah, it's, it, it's hard to keep up with Ginyu. Does. I just woke up to H. Real shit, real shit, real shit, real shit, real shit. Yeah, yeah, you have to talk with your brother. Grenade that costs the meter. All right, Floki, I'm gonna let you and Kite discuss this one for a second. I'm gonna, I'm oh. gonna tag it off to you guys. Oh my god, Whoa. So if I get aired by the dickless oh. jump buns, I don't Kite. play the game. Kite. He has one more. <laughs> he can oh. loop you like four I times. I, I love you. Like I get hypnotic has beaten you so much i get it and you hate this Jeez. hold on hold on and i know you hate this motherfucker right here I oh get my it. I get... Uh, 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 i'm cutting i'm cutting back to the face for a second floki floki you just gotta have a stick up like i get you hate this character i do but when he loses to half of the cast Man, he's you muted your mic, buddy. What? You can can we just get? I'm I'm going back to the list real quick. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Honestly, I thought he was just joking about like making Hellzone like super dashable. This man's really serious. Wow. Wow. You said I get hit once and I don't get to play the game. I you, mean, you do have a whole spark that you can cash out. All right, have, all right, kite, spark. kite. Obviously, Piccolo has touched a nerve for several. Okay, well, other actually, no, 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 no. Hold, hold up, hold up. I don't think, I don't think that's Hellzone. If I'm being honest, I don't think that's Hellzone. Hellzone. I personally think that's the snap mechanic. That's the that's snap. That's not. That's not. That's, that's not, not a, a Hellzone problem. problem. That's, that's a game that's mechanic. Definitely, that's definitely a mechanic problem. Like you shouldn't, because because I feel like they're gonna touch snap. Next patch, anyways. I think so I, gonna, like if I you, think if you might... smoke, if you smoke Hellzone, on top of on top of Snap getting like bodied, Pickle is useless. You one, destroy thing, this match. one thing I saw suggested is what they might be doing next season to address Snap is meter freezing. You said like meter it. freezing. You know how we get nerfed meter gain for snapping now for using a meter because you have to go into yeah. a meter most of the time. Yes. It would be like if you snap out the other character. You go into meter freeze until they're unlocked for their assist. That's fair. That would be kind. Of, that would be kind of harsh, though, if you think about it. Because then, no, if you get if you get the hit, like it's it's gonna be kind of hard to. You take the hit, you're gonna get your three k damage, and then you're gonna have to hit him again. See, the thing is with that, I think I think like, meter freeze would be excessive, but I see what they're going for. It's one of those things that, like, it, it, and also in turn, that would cause characters like Piccolo to be useless. Piccolo does not need does not need miter buffs. I'm just I'm gonna slap that one down. I, I but think Piccolo, like, 
it's just like if you if you want to check snap i personally believe the best way to go about it is like you would treat it like other tag games and just make it a meter Exactly. Cause like the fact that Snap is free. Oh, true. Is, is and I forgot about issue. that. Yeah, in Marvel Two, you have to, you have to. Marvel actually... Two and Marvel Three is yeah. actually a meter. Like it's, it wasn't, it wasn't just some. Oh, I'm gonna just do this. Because yeah. here's the thing, right now, right? If you made, if you all right, you Zuru. That... Hey, it's been awesome having you, man. Yeah. Catch you later. If you, did, if you did, give a force pickle to burn two bars for Hellzone, one for Snap and one for Hellzone. I think that'd be good. If someone spends two meter to mix me, I even if I get hit, I don't feel awful about that exchange. Yeah, I'm like, that's tough. Yeah. So, like, the thing is, if you're trying to still hit me with this argument of, I want to make su- Hell- Hellzone super dashable, you're going to literally break the character. Like, he has to burn. What would be the point of doing, what would be the point of doing Hellzone at that you point? Like, you just don't do Hellzone <laughs> anymore, right? Yeah, you really, the only thing you would have is Universal Fuzzy. And Universal Fuzzy if not set up properly, it's useless. Take a look at Forest CD, 350-50s right now, the current snap lockout. That's what I'm saying. See, you see, you're saying, you just said it's a snap lockout situation. It's it's like, not. You, you just said it's a snap thing. It's, it's not a piccolo thing. It's a snap thing. And then, you, like, there, that's what, you, like, for a lot of the changes, there was a diff, there was a separation of game mechanics and character, and mechanics. character mechanics. Like, if you were Piccolo, to change the way like, Super Dash works, like, if let's say you made it, they made it so you couldn't Super Dash projectiles. No, in that world, Ginyu and every other zoner, you would not touch them. You'd probably be nerfing them, right? Like, Piccolo, Piccolo Hellzone, Piccolo Hellzone stuff is, like, a product of Snap. It wouldn't be as dominant as it is if, you know, Snap it wasn't so wasn't dominant. dominant. Exactly. The thing is, too, is, like, you got to look at it in the perspective of, you know, universal fuzzy that we have now is a byproduct of snap. These these mechanics that people are complaining about, like oh, fuzzy need to be removed. This is all byproducts of snap. Yeah, this is all byproducts of what snap has, has done. Exactly. So, like, if you make snap cost a meter, you're gonna also be a meter penalty. So it's gonna make people want to like really think about they want to snap. So if you so Kai, if they were to nerf snap. Would you be okay with Piccolo Hell's on grenade? I don't even think that would be that good. It wouldn't. That's it it would to, be that's like you spend a meter to try right. to mix them up on wake up with some almost unseeable stuff. Like that would be what you're gambling on. Like would it, you be would you be okay if they nursed that? And and kept the stuff the same. Kept Piccolo Piccolo Hell's on the same. I'm still mad, yo. Like I, I don't I don't like being petty, but man. Say, is Piccolo fine as is? Cause I think. All right, like, look. I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible, so don't put me in that situation. Boy, boy, boy. Personally, I have not forgotten the D I'm that Piccolo has committed. Okay, okay. I gotta. Okay, ignoring Piccolo. What do you think about the rest of the list? Yeah, I mean, if you nerf Snap Meta, that would be a nerf to Piccolo. But yeah, so like. Think yeah, if they if they make. They make snap calls one bar and the lockout being shorter. Yeah, I think I think Piccolo will be fine at that point. Like, cause right now, snap is eight second lockout. You are like you fucked for a little bit. <laughs> You're literally cursed. You can't guard cancel. You can't like call an assist. Like you actually just smoked for a little bit. And on top of that, you playing a big character. You you had the potential to get fuzzy three times. That's the other thing. Cause remember, you're playing Piccolo, so you're also getting fuzzy. Yeah, I, I, I'm just gonna stay quiet for the rest of the episode. I'm just like, man, that. Mm. All right, kite, kite. Ignoring Piccolo. Please ignore Piccolo. How like, do you that's... feel about the rest of this list? Yeah, because we gotta get out. Is there any? Is there any other character you disagree with? Kite, man. it's all right. Piccolo is not going to hurt you. I mean, yeah, kite, kite has Piccolo PTSD. Dude, so hypnotic, I, I hypnotic holds the deed to your soul right now. Like, like, here's the here's the thing, great, great. Like, also too, you've played me, so like system mechanics be... tier list when maybe on the next episode, seventeen I mean, needs a slight nerf. Okay, we need to go. I mean, what would be the what would be the nerf? What what nerf would you Ooh. give him, Kite? Would it be that he can't anti air off of his uh? Don't do that! Oh my god, don't do that! Because that's what makes him viable. 
At least I think that's what makes him viable. Uh, X-Ice talked a bit about that. What, what would be the nerf? Like, do, do you change something about Axle Drive? I don't, I don't know what you change, though. Exactly. Because uh, right, right now, I'm, I'm looking at the cap on my, on my desk right now. His level 1 invol should have more recovery. I mean, I feel like you get a, I feel like you get a punish off any, well, then again, I play hit, so, yeah, I'll just teleport right over there. Oh, uh, what, his meter gain? We want to give Vegito back his meter yeah, gain. Yeah, if we're giving Vegito back yeah, his meter gain. Yeah, what the fuck? Wait a minute. I mean, like, GT also gives mad meter, so does kid. actually, a lot of these characters get a lot of meter. I'm saying right Gohan, now. Gohan, if he say, if you hit you with legs. Damn, like, that's, oh, the, the meter on that boy. Like, Bardock still gets two meters, adult no, Gohan. No, no. Okay, so, Christian, I, I disagree with you, that stance, though. 17 does have stuff. I think it's disingenuous to say he doesn't have anything. But he is not hitting at the same level as a character like Base Machida. Agreed. Like, that, that's just not the case. Or, like, SSJ Goku. You're not going to sit here and tell me I, I don't get a punish on 17 when I definitely punish him for doing, for doing his level 1. Agreed. Like that doesn't that doesn't make sense. I get a whole ass punish for if the dude does that level one. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I would give him a small buff. And like again, small buffs can range from like changing frame data slightly to, to like, like altering the like, move a little bit. Properties. Definitely needs buffs, means you're changing something dramatically. Like, shaving 20 frames off of the command grab or, you know, making Videl function. Giving her a whole new reflect. Making her actually, ki like, kill you in two Make her do three. more than 2,000 damage a combo. Yeah, this way she doesn't have, have no OP up five times. You also play Hit who moves across the screen. Yeah, I, 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 literally just, I literally just said that. The, the hook? Ditch the hook. All right. Well, but anywho. Well, I think this list has reached its end. I think this is how <laughs> the list is going to be published. I forgot. Here. I forgot it. I forgot. Um. What? Oh yeah, Alien asked me what the quality of life changes I give the hit. Um. Really? Only thing I'd really, really give the hit is like. Actually, no, that, that's just me for bias. Keep him that quality of life, though. T? Yeah, keep T. him that quality of life. Yeah, T. I mean, there's a couple things. I, I, would, I would give hits some really The list stuff. is really... I think, it's like... I think this list is overall solid. I think people, based on their own individual evaluations of characters, will have disagreements. But that's okay. That's the point Yeah, like, of... if you think a character is underpowered right now... And then we put like, yo, they need the nerf. But if I think, if you, if you think any of these six characters is underpowered, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I, you're wrong. You're, you're, you're just wrong. He said you're wrong. <laughs> he said, hey, you're, you're factually <laughs> wrong. I mean, I'm sorry. If you tell me Bardock, Adult Gohan, Teen Gohan, Broly, Kid Buu, or GT is underpowered. Hey, that's illegal. I uh, yeah, see, see, he's, he's capping now. Six, he don't need no big buffs. Leave that dude alone. He gonna, he gonna get them small buffs. We're gonna leave it at that. Honestly, yeah, with sixteen, never... you just revert like what? If you revert his assist, he'd be good. Assist, assist in the meter game. Assist in the meter game. Never, never again. Yeah, Christian, this was a this was a good idea. I I, I appreciate it. it's a good suggestion. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm hitting the save download button. This is now being. Downloaded to my computer. We're gonna publish that shit. And this is immortalized now. Wait, Alien, what is it? This man really last minute. You're, oh, you're really gonna hit me last minute with the we're wrong. It's motherfucking. This, yo, I'm not putting God, Kid Boo in his own in his own tier. <coughs> no. That's it. All right. Done. No. Boy. It is it is officially over, guys. The list has been created. This will be up on Twitter tomorrow. It says sixteen has no assist on me. That's why I just said give him give him that shit back. And leave it and leave it right there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of killing I agree. Like if some if the if Bandai went in and went made Kid Boo unplayable, I wouldn't be happy about that. I'm a fan of killing Kid Boo. Uh, that I think that's whack.
I I'm I'm, I'm a huge I'm I a huge personally character. don't like characters being made unplayable because somebody somewhere that that they truly loved that character. Now, granted, they might eat paint because they're a kid boo lover, but they deserve to have their character be playable. That's that I that I do believe personally. Granted, that not everyone's going to agree with that, and you know what? That's okay. Alrighty, guys. Well, awesome. that is that is going to bring awesome us movie, movie. to yes. the end of this. Ah, you know what? I don't feel like fixing the Discord thing, so I'm actually going to play us out on this tier list. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. As Welcome. always, I appreciate it. You know, you know myself, Jay Diesel. You know my boy Floki, and you know our wonderful guest tonight, Last Seven. Minute seven. Jesus Christ, Seven's going to be, like, in this season hardcore. Like, y- y'all He is. Him, You're going to see him at Frosty Faustings, most likely in top eight, so keep an eye out. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll probably be in top eight. But, anyways, oh. guys, that is going to do it for me. I appreciate everybody taking the time to come out here. And I think that is just about going to do it right here. And I actually think we've got some boys on. Hold on. Let me figure out who I can uh, kick you guys over to real quick. I might send you over to Calimac. Oh, it's on you in this game. All right, guys. Well, you guys have an awesome night, and I will catch you. Yo, Bondi, thank you for getting in at the last minute. It's not a stream without you, but we are signing off. It's been a long podcast. Anyways, I will catch you all later. Outro time. Can I air air DP this shit with Vegeta? Peace.